Is he be better? Bunch of top G's. I feel like, why is this guy more of a top G than somebody else? Like, he's here right now. What Top G of what? Oh, shit, Los, you ready? Oh, my God. I don't know. It's, it, actually, see, it's a mistake, bro. Hey, what were you saying, X? Repeat that. Yeah, what were you saying? Top G of what? Oh, no. What is- Oh, what is, no. What, what is Tay the, 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 the top G of what? It's Hello? a question. Stop. He's people say you're the top G. The top G of what? Can, you give so, me, can we get a rundown first, an introduction? I'm, I'm back at the right time. Uh, hopefully I don't have any internet issues. It seems for some reason my internet's a bit slow, so let me know if it cuts in and out. And you broke right internet. Right yeah, top G of broke internet. Um, well, I, I don't think I don't really feel, my friend, uh, like I'm compelled to justify myself to you. If I if Please I start my... with introductions first. Uh, where are you from? What country? <laughs> are you talking to me? Yes. This whole panel feels strange. I don't know. I'm the trying whole to no. I'm trying to pin. I'm trying to pinpoint the the accent. It, it, the, the energy is tense. Yeah, is it's, it's South African. Like, it's kind of like I've walked into a police interview. You know, it's weird. That's what, what I'm saying. That's why I said to Aiden. I said, if you give when you bring him in, he might feel like he's getting ambushed. Yeah, it's and it's a weird thing because obviously Twitch is is an online community, right? But I live in the real world. I'm not. I'm not from this internet world. And in the real world, you talk to people especially people who can destroy you with respect. You say, oh, Andrew, can you please introduce yourself? You don't come and say, hey, bro, into, like, it's just an internet. It's weird. Wait, what do you mean by destroy? Oh, like, what do you, you mean, by, like, beat his ass or, or like, like if you mentally mean, destroy? Like, oh. Men go like, and talk to each other with respect. I think that's how men interact with each other. Yeah, but in my opinion, wouldn't you say that a respect between two men would be not making me be formal and you would just understand what I mean, right? I you think, just get what no, I mean, right? I, when I, I say, yo, man, like, where are you from? Like I think you're going to say, hello, polite. sir. Can you please tell me where you're from, sir? Is that no. what you need? No, I think that being polite and being formal uh, is something I think you I was being polite. I softened my voice and I said, hey, man, where are you from? Try and pinpoint the accent. Okay, well, that's not how it sounded. I said, hey, stop. What, tell me where you're from. So well, I have I'd, a deep voice, so people take it the wrong way very often. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a thing. He gets people getting real mad at him for that. Just, just some advice for the real world. Anyway. I have, believe uh, me, I have one foot in the real world, brother. Only one? Only one. I, one foot in, one foot out. Absolutely. I'm I'm half British, and I am half American. That's why the accent is. It's like South American. No, 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 American, American. Okay, so you were born in America. I was born in the United Kingdom, but I've been I've been back and forth between the two countries my whole life. Okay, fair enough. So okay. That's the uh, okay. Introduction. Okay. Introduction. Okay. Andrew Tate is my name, everybody. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Likewise. I'm, I'm Felix, so you call me X. Okay, Felix. My name's so, Tyler, you can call me Train. I'm Silky, just Silky. Okay, okay. I'm cool. also American. I remember everything. So I've been, I've, Aiden, Aiden messaged me and said, Andrew, quickly, wake up, someone disagrees with you. That's what <laughs> <laughs> Okay, good, a good introduction, because that, that's it. That's how it is. Who disagrees with me and on what? Um, I think at, le at least me, I, I think I disagree with uh, most things. But I think, I don't know about Train though. I don't think he knows you that much. All I saw is a couple, a couple of clips of you. And I, I didn't want like um, Wikipedia whole search. I wanted to take the, the arguments and, and the takes, what they are, and not with, well, like where they, they come from or whatever. Just straight up, face value. That's what you, you get. Have, you have something specific you disagree with me on? Oh yeah, most of your women takes are bad. Yeah, but you have to be specific because the burden of proof is on you. So. Oh no, no, literally most of them. Oh, yeah, but you can't say literally most of them. This is a court of law, my friend. We have a judging panel and everything. You have to come along okay. with the take that you disagree with and, and give your argument as to why it's not true. You can't just Woman say... Woman can't I, drive. Right. Woman can't drive was one of them. Yeah, that, that was kind of weird. So you don't think that men are overall better drivers than women? No. So when you see the worst parking you've ever seen in your life, you don't think it's more likely to be a female. It's more. It's just as equally likely to be a man, in your view. Well, I mean, when I see it, when I see... Uh, Oh yeah, exa yeah, exa yeah, exactly, exactly what you just said. Yes. Then that's your opinion. What's the argument? You know, like, like I said, it's not. It doesn't have to be an opinion, right? That's at least your anecdotal evidence, which is like kind of a bias, right? When, when you want to bring out things like women can't drive, you're gonna go with stats, and your stats are off. You're they're, they're, you're just wrong about them. Well, everyone is. Firstly, firstly, when you talk about biases, absolutely everybody is biased to their own personal experiences, right? If I've been in five car crashes and all five of them were driven by women by coincidence, I'm gonna be biased. I'm gonna believe that women are less capable. <laughs> So and then all, because okay, so fair enough. To sit here and pretend you're not biased and you're beyond biases is bullshit. That's the first thing. Okay. We're, all, we're all biased. Okay, and then and then like a natural good educated human being, you're probably going to go on the internet and find some study that maybe you maybe you're right about it, and then you're going to oh, figure out that you're wrong. Oh, yeah. Study. Oh yeah, the internet study. Oh, uh, 
Why didn't I think of just following the internet study and not You're think- You're right, because we could have gone fucking taste experience instead. Experience. Bro, Why do I ignore all my own personal experience and obey the internet study and get my fifth injection bro. and just do everything the internet says? You're I, right. My personal experiences, females are not as capable of driving as, as males. That's my personal experience. You can't come along and tell me that's not true. So, and I don't bro. give a shit. Study. The so, next, the next time we, go, we have a problem with science or some shit or physics, why, why go to the internet or talk to some experts? Let's go with ask Tate's experience on it, and we'll have the answer to it, right? You that's fucking sorry, sorry, no that's, insults. Now I just got, I got unhinged sorry for that. It, it's fine. That's what Twitch does to people. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty true. I'll, I'll give you that one. That's pretty true. Conversation would be very different in person. <laughs> well, that part's not true for me, at least. That's the internet, but that that's fine. That's the internet. Well, my personal, my personal experiences, my personal experiences dictate to me, as all of your personal experiences dictate to you, certain realities about the earth. And in my personal experience, every car crash I've been in, every time my car's been hit, the worst parking I've ever seen has always been by a female. Now, I'm not saying females are bad people. I'm saying they're better than men at other things. Okay. Men have, if you want to talk about internet studies, because you seem to believe internet studies for some reason, even though, even though Fair you enough. can give... You can give me lies, you can give me big lies, you can give me statistics. Don't Stay dish gallops, stay one, one topic at a time. No, studies are the biggest lies on earth, but if you want to talk about studies, it's been proven that females do not have the same kind of sp spatial awareness that men have. They do not have the reaction times that men have. They've not evolved. They, this has been studied and found. You want to talk about studies? And they have not yet, they c yet, males cause more crash accidents on, on the road than women. Cool. So we so have, they have so, they, so they have less tools. To you and so studies, studies yet they so cause have, more accidents, but according to your experience, they cause more accidents. So you're right. So you so are right. Have, correct. And we have studies that conflict. We have studies that conflict. And in my personal experience, I feel safer when a man is driving me than if a woman is driving me. That's my personal experience. If you want to sit here hoping that if you keep saying women can drive, you might get a girl, that's your decision. But I, in my personal experiences, that's not the case. I don't know why we're going to sit here and argue about it. Perfect. Then in, that case, in that case, in that case. In that case, then what you're saying is that if you, since you're such a smart being, if you go to the casino and there's there's 60% red squares and 40% black ones, right? 60, 40, you should bet on the 40% black ones because that's how you're going to make money. According to your analysis of these stats, right? I don't truly understand the analogy. <laughs> and it's simple. It's simple. It's very simple. Like I, like I, like I just said, according to your interpretation of, of, of the stats on the internet or whatever, Right, you would bet on a forty percent outcome instead of sixty percent, and you're saying it's a, it, this is bro, a good bet. Oh, bro, bro, I know, I know, and I mean this with respect. I know, and I mean this with respect. I know the internet is your life, right? I don't use the internet for stats when I get into a car with a bitch. I don't go and go, okay, well, she's blonde. Let me look up the blonde chicks. Can they drive? Da, da. I get in a car and I look at her driving and go, and this bitch can't drive. That's what I do. Right. And any man who's honest with himself has been in the car with a chick who's driving on some wild ass, crazy, texting on her phone, risking everyone's life. Every man knows yes. I'm telling the truth. Okay. I know you can't okay. say it. Okay. You don't want to get canceled. Blah, Cancel. blah, blah. You just sit, bro. Here, you bro. sit here and say, when you get in a car with a girl, you look up an internet study first. Shut up. What are you talking about? Bro, what, what, what are you talking about? A bad driver on the road that you can see is a bad driver. I don't give a fuck if they're right. old, if, they, if they're missing both fucking hands, if they're my, a guy, if they're a guy, if they're white, if they're black. I don't give a fuck. That female. person can't right. fucking drive. They can't fucking drive. I don't say, oh, I'm going to go to the study. Oh, I'm going to do this in the Andrew Tate. They can't fucking drive. Let me break a little bit and fucking change lane, yo. You know, I don't have a license, but yeah. I'm going to interject real quick into this one-on-one uh, -on -one here, okay? Do you remember, do all of you guys remember the uh, example I gave about real life or like the real world versus the internet world? Yeah. yeah. Well, the example I gave about the word slut. You guys remember that? Yeah. Uh, I think I had that take exactly on point. In the real world, like I think when Andrew says what he's saying, right? Like, you know, the people get around like, oh yeah, I know what you're talking about, right? But in the internet world, everyone's very, very, very... Um, they're very exact, right? So when Andrew says women are bad drivers, the internet assumes that he's saying all women are bad drivers, women are terrible, women are fucking less than, right? So it just depends here. Are that, you talking like the real world talking where we understand what you're saying? Like when a rapper says all these girls are hoes, right? We know he's not saying all women are hoes. We know what he's talking about. When you go to the party, that one chick that's sleeping with all the dudes is a hoe, right? We get that uh, uh, comparison, but we know he's not saying that. So th the real question here is, are you talking with the context of the real world only where you're kind of just making that you're making that generalization but you don't actually mean the generalization do you, you understand what i'm saying or are you actually a sexist that that's that's what the question no, no. is
that's a, that's great a very question. good question and it's very professionally asked. So I like the way you've asked it. It's very Thank professional. You. Thank you. Um, no, you're completely and utterly correct. The rap, the way the rapper says that all women are hoes is an absolutely perfect analogy. I'm not saying there's not a female on the planet who can't drive a car. I'm not saying that. I'm That's saying that. I'm saying in general, in general, if every man was honest with himself, if you were to ask him, what's the worst driving you've ever seen? What's the most uncomfortable you've ever been in a car? What's the worst parking you've ever seen? What If you were to ask him and he was honest and he wasn't on the internet worried about getting canceled or trying to be correct or looking up statistics or any dumb shit, he'd probably say, I was in the car with this chick once and she nearly killed me. That is not saying women are bad creatures. I'm not saying all women drive that way. It doesn't mean that I don't think females should have a right to drive, etc. I'm saying in general, I think that men have faster reaction times. We are more interested in cars. We enjoy driving more. We pay more attention than women do. That is yeah, my so, experience. So to hop in real quick, okay? The, re the reason I could kind of predict that, Aiden, and everyone else in here, is because I went through the same thing. I came from the real world, okay? And I had the one foot in, one foot out thing. It's why the people I got along with most were Call of Duty players, right? Because they had the same experiences as me. We partied, we went out, we had the college life, we had the you know club life. And we gamed, right? So I understood that lingo. But I got in a lot of trouble for it, right? If you look at my speeches, I got banned. People said I'm sexist, misogynistic because I spoke in that exact way. I, I assumed people were intelligent enough to understand the context in which I was saying these things. But the internet is not like that. The internet applies the worst case scenario, the worst possible context, and they will drill you for it. Trent, that, you're I, fighting I, ghosts. You're fighting no, ghosts. Nobody's saying that I right now. Predict. We're not in that right now. We're talking. No, like, this is why I could predict that he is talking in the real world on the internet. That's the issue. That's the okay. disconnect. You know, Trent, Trent, I'm going to go against you. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, you know whose fault that is? That is your fucking fault. I know why. Because you, why? you are a bad communicator. If you can't communicate your thought properly, so people understand it for what it is. But now I can't. You are, no, you are, you are can. lacking skill in communication to make sure you, point yes. what it actually is. That is no, your wait, problem. Real quick, real quick. Real quick, real quick. I want to respond to that. I want to respond to that. Then take, then take it going. Then take it going. Okay. X, as you know now, I communicate very well. Now, when I make my speeches or when I make my points, I don't just explain the real world side. I explain the 1700 different possible worlds it could be analyzed in, it could be perceived as, as it could be perceived in. I explain it in every way possible because I have a platform now on the internet. So now I've, became a, I've become a better communicator and I explain in every context. So okay. yeah, that's the, my point is the, right now Tate is in his, you know, it's the inception of it, right? On the internet from the real world. But so then, that's then the disconnect. Tell me how is, then tell me, tell me how is. Say, 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 Tate, I think you you are a bad communicator of your takes and you are bad at dialogue. Say, like, say, it's like not it a then. bad communicator. Tell him, fucking tell him then. X, it's not a bad communicator. What it is, is it's an unawareness of the internet type of person. Do you understand? When you're never on then, the internet, you don't know, like, I didn't know people like this existed. Do you understand? I didn't know they existed. So you can't fathom to even have the, 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 the possible world to explain something in a way. Okay. Well, maybe he is aware, but he just doesn't give a fuck. Okay, okay. Maybe then, that's the case too. Okay. Then, Trent, Trent, if you, if you make a statement a and you say you women stop, can't bro. drive, okay, it doesn't matter what your audience is, right? It is a blanket statement. Have you seen Nick Pollum's poll? Nick Pollum's poll on Funniest Streamer. Do you know why that is? Because when I'm in person, I say, I make jokes like that. I go, must be a woman driver that made that, that caused that accident. I make jokes of that. Do I think all women, no, women are better drivers than I am. I'm a shit driver these are, as these a man. Are, these are joking contexts, yeah. But if you make a yeah, statement, so then that, you're that's serious. That's why I'm asking, alone. is he just making that generalized kind of stereotypical joke or okay. is he truly a ask sexist? Him then. That's what I'm asking. I asked him, he said, no, he said he's not a sexist. He's making that generalized joke statement. Okay, okay. Then when you don't have a dialogue with somebody and he gets a monologue and you're alone and you go on camera and you say, Women can't drive it without no precision, without no saying, oh, ex exception is exception. Without, without going down the list of why it's a joke or whatever the fuck. You think it's a good thing? Do you think no, you're being I, a good listen, communicator? Here's the part you're saying, that. Women here's cannot here's drive. And, and, and the wrong. No, here's Actually, the part. Does he owe that? Wait, 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 wait. I got to respond. He's, he's talking to oh. me. I, I, I have a responsibility. I just got, trust got. me here. I, I apologize for interrupting you, but just you hear me out here, okay? X. Yeah, I, I believe. Listen. I don't think he has the experience on the internet yet to understand why he is in the wrong to make 
I think there's a dramatization, right? I think he is intelligent and is aware of what he's doing. It's a dramatization for these dumb fucks in the chat that sit there and say, fuck yeah, 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 yeah. It's a dramatization factor. Okay, That's okay, all hey, it hey, is. Let's run, let's run so Nitro Science. For that, I think it's wrong. statement like that, but instead replace... For that, I think it's wrong. Hey, train, for train, that, I agree train. with you, Ek. Okay, okay, okay. Then, then, then if, you're, if you're ready to prove your own point then, right? About the security yeah. of it. How, how yeah. about you make a same statement about, so for the same topic or another one about black people? Go ahead. Do, do, it, do it now. Do, do it. But why we, would we do that? I, I made that point earlier. I made that point earlier about the consistency argument. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm, I'm just saying. If, it, if, it, if, it's, if it's not bad, because, oh, 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 it's a joke because it's, it's I didn't it's, say it's, it's not bad. It's a I, said, joke I, said, I said the dramatization of the too far jokes is for the dramatization to get people in. And I said, that part is wrong. And I, and I do. I do have a consistency. You ask Nick Pollum. In front of him, I, I make those jokes. I make all kinds of jokes about everything and everyone. Believe that. You ask okay. Nick Pollum, he'll go live right now and say, I do. Okay, I do. X, why don't you ask Tate if you would say that about a race or something like that, a generalization like that, about a joke about a race or ethnicity or something? Right, listen, listen. You can have asked me now. Let's understand, let's understand my question. So I'm, I'm half black, half white, right? That's my ethnicity. So we understand my ethnicity. I made a joke an hour ago with one of my cousins, because half my family's black, half my cousin's white. And he said he wanted to go uh, free diving. It's where you dive down in the water and you go deep with no scuba equipment with the sharks or some shit. And I said, bro, that, that's what white people do that shit. I'm too brown for that. I'm not going with the sharks. I just, there, I just made a joke. There. Oh, no. Cancel me. Who gives a fuck? When I make okay. a statement, when I make a statement, bro, listen, when I make a statement, maybe you do, maybe you have all the fucking time in the world to sit on the internet, my friend. But when I make a statement, I don't have time to say, in my personal experience, I don't believe women can drive. However, I understand that some women can drive and I'm not saying all women can't drive and I know women who can drive, but in my personal experience, the bad driving I've seen was most likely committed by women that I don't talk like a fucking geek. Fair enough, fair enough. I, say, I say women can't drive. Now, if okay. that upsets geeks like you, cool, whatever, because geeks, I don't, don't give a fuck. That's what I say. If it upsets people tough, that's my personal experience. You're going to have to get the fuck over it. That's Dang. life. I if you want to if you want to say I'm a bad communicator, once again, that's your prerogative, but I would disagree. I think I'm a very good at commu communicating. That's the only reason I'm even fucking here. It's the only reason I'm even on the internet. It's because when I talk, people listen. So I must be doing something right. I mean, it's easy to talk whistle to like a misogynist. That's really easy. It's one of the easiest things out there. Preaching to the choir. That's so easy to begin and following doing that. Hey, I, you, hate, you hate women to, uh, on these points and these points. It's going to be easy to stack them up like fucking easy. Holy that shit. I built, I built a fucking world of a community based on being toxic. It's, it's the easiest thing in the world. Way easier than being good and being nice. I'm a very good, nice person. Surely. By saying that, I think that men are more capable of driving than women. It doesn't make me a bad person or a not nice person. It means right. that if I get in a car and it's snowing and it's late at night and it's dark, I'm going to drive. I'm not going to let some 18-year-old chick drive. I'm going to fucking drive because I like staying alive. And, and, and let me tell you something. Why did you bring that up? Because last time that we you talked about uh, car accidents or whatever, and you, then you brought stats. You said that, oh, oh well, well it's because the, the males are doing more accidents because they're young, right? So even if your own example, right, you would actually prefer having a, a young female driver, not a young male, according to you. That's what you said last time on the fucking podcast. Then it is exactly what you said. You I'm that. using you your that. words against you. You said that, oh, yeah, males do more crash when you're young because yeah, they're young and excited or whatever. Mm. You just said, I wouldn't let a young girl drive my car. Then you would oh, let. Okay. Old I'm, girl. I'm just saying. Be consistent oh, about it. Listen, there's, there's, let, me, let me tell you something, my friend. There's a cognitive dissonance. There's some serious damage that the internet is doing to society. I spoke about it on Aiden Ross on his podcast. And I spoke about how the internet as a whole has changed the world. I'm old enough to see it. And yeah. one, of the ways, one of the ways it's changed the world is when there are certain beliefs, there are certain paradigms which are not allowed to be punctured, certain parameters which are set by the matrix in which you must pretend certain things are true. People ignore their own eyes and their own ears because they are afraid of upsetting the matrix. And my point is that a person like you, and I mean this with respect, I'm not here to argue with you, this is a professional debate. A person like you who's whose entire income, personality, his importance, his ego, everything relies on a Twitch account. If you lose it, you oh, ain't nah. shit. If you lose it, you ain't shit. And the problem is that you could be in 10 car crashes driven by 10 different women, oh, and you will still not come here and say women can't drive as well as men because you are afraid. You are not You are not non-biased. You are sitting here inside of parameters that you must conform to or you don't exist. I don't give a fuck. That's the difference between you and me. That's why I say things other people I don't. I don't, I, don't know what, I, don't, I don't know what that means, the last part. I mean, you talk about the matrix and the, the systems or whatever the fuck, but the only reason why you're relevant or cool in, in, the, in the real world is because you have money. Talk about the matrix, the fucking currency, and you and you think you're the top two because of that? 
And it makes you more important than other people who have value to society? I'm not only the top G because I have money. In fact, I think I talked about this with David Ross as well. I talked about how money is an amplifier. Money alone will not make you significant or important. I talked about how money will amplify. Then I what, was the G before I was rich. I was then, the man before I was rich. And then I got rich on top. That's what that it's amplified me. That's all it's done. It hasn't changed who I am. There's plenty of people with lots of money who ain't shit. Okay, be, so because of the vehicle of my message is is Twitch, it's devalidated. It's not that it's devalidated at all, my friend. I think that Twitch is a fantastic and, and you're meet, yeah. and you're meeting lots and lots of people. And I'm here on Twitch as well myself. My point is that you exist inside of parameters. The people who rely on the system will always fight to defend the system. The parameters are set in a way which you cannot be completely and utterly honest, even if your personal experience tells you so. We don't even have to talk about driving. We can talk about anything. We can talk about the last three years where you walked around, didn't see a single sick person, and you had to pretend that you were supposed to be scared inside of your house because the parameters have told you if you say anything else, you lose your entire life and your life is online. This is, this is the reality. Uh, not Most people are not Bro. allowed to say what they think. Okay. This works both ways, though. It's not, it's, it's, it's not because you have, you have harsher takes and crazier takes that this doesn't apply to you. Oh, I feel like you preach to the choir to fucking incels, literally. That's like your bread and butter. You, 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 okay. well, let, literally. Let, 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 so by, by, okay. that, by, that, by extent, you try not to go against these opinions because you're going to lose these people. Like, that's, okay, that's just so, how it is. So that's an interesting point of view, and we'll go into it in a second. But first things first, I want to clarify, because as I said, I'm a professional, and this is a professional debate. My takes are not harsh or extreme. Every single man, every single sports club, every single football team, every single group of men sitting around having a drink will make a joke about how women can't drive. Every single fucking one. So to sit here and pretend I have some extreme view is bullshit. It may be extreme on the internet where people are afraid. I broke internet just like that. Yeah, uh, oh my God, this is getting really good too. Hold on. I'm going to say... Internet. Yo, ex, how you feeling during this halftime report? How you feeling about this conversation? I'm okay. I just, I, I, I just feel I like know. I'm not. He's kind of debunking you right now. I'm not gonna lie. I, 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 I'm, 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 not debunking I, 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 I'm, I'm only questioning. I'm not, I'm not, I haven't even started making takes and saying things. I'm only just questioning. I'm not, de I'm not, not debunking X. I'm questioning it. I'm not, I'm not even making statements yet. Chat. He's okay, not debunking X, but chat, he, he, there's a couple the points he brings like, up oh, that I feel like I do feature about PG-13 streamers and, and the parameters like set by talking, Twitch bro. and the general public that make the PG-13ers say things, but I know for a fact they don't feel them. They say them because they can't lose their job or their income from the It's not mutually exclusive. You cannot prove a statement. You cannot prove a statement is being made because of the fucking loss of income or whatever the fuck, because I would have way more proof of the exact No, not you, though, but it doesn't apply to you, X. It doesn't apply to you. It applies okay. to what, yeah, I, I preach it toward the PG 13ers, right? The ones that glue smiles on their fucking faces and act robotic and virtue signal on every fucking avenue, right? Like, we know they're NBC's. human beings at the end of the day, right? Yeah, it, it, it's those that I preach that against, right? I don't think, I don't think it's right. Like, I think what he's saying about that is correct. I don't think it should be applied to you, though, because I know you're just like me. You speak your fucking mind. If we get banned, we get banned. We eat that fucking ban, right? Yeah, but yeah, we okay, speak yeah. our minds. In, yeah, in yeah. that, in that so regard, there's, I have to, there's I have to nothing at, that you what if, it, what if it's what if it's just that nothing? person's belief, though? Fuck no. Why would I? Do you watch my streams, those Poyos? Do, do you watch Dude, them? You there's a reason what? every you know PG. I watch your I'm saying, like, those motherfuckers hate me, bro. Every PG hates me. I'm saying there's nothing that you've ever had to hold back on. The only thing I hold Bro. back on are the jokes that Nick Poem has said. If I could say on stream, I'd be the funniest streamer on the planet. It's my jokes. The jokes I hold back because I, yes, the, the jokes, are the only things I hold back, but my views and my opinions, I say them straight out and I'm hated. Now, I for sure had to hold back on some of the jokes. The, 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 re the reality is when you're live, like 20, hold on. Yeah, we all, 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 do. Jokes, we yeah. all hold back, bro. Come on. We all do. Only for yeah, jokes. Like, not you're my saying political no, view. that's kind of like... No, I mean, yeah, for jokes. Yes. Not, not, not your opinion. Not, 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 not crazy shit, crazy shit for jokes. online. So I hold I... back inappropriate shit. Like sometimes I want to scratch my balls and pull my cock out. Cause I like, I like having my balls out sometimes when, I, when I'm when I'm off stream. Exactly. I don't, pull my, I don't want to pull my balls out on stream. So yeah, I am holding back, I guess, but not in ways that are are are, are, are not morally or fucking like uh, that don't align. Mm -hmm. Hold on, Top G is yeah. back. Hold on. Yo. Yeah. What's up, Top G? Did you just fucking I'm go for a run, bro? Something's wrong with my internet. I don't know why. It's is there bad Wi Fi over there? It's a broke broke internet. internet. It is. Can what? you hear me now, though? Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, where where were we? Uh, I don't remember. It was. Uh... Fuck. Can you read it? Can you read it? Because right? we, we were talking when you went out there. I believe you were. I believe before he lagged out, you were giving the example of how before he gave the example that. 
the male accidents that are high are young males. And he gave an example that he wouldn't hop in a car with an 18 year old chick. And you said that he's countering or he's being hypocritical and being contradictory to his previous statement that young men cause accidents. The majority of men, male accidents. Georgiana. Is that your maid? Uh, no, it's a masseuse. Georgiana, can you bring my sunglasses, please? I don't know where they are. <laughs> right. She's she like, why, why is he talking to me like that? He didn't talk to me like that off camera, bro. What the fuck? So what were we talking about? <laughs> That's fact. Yeah. He definitely apologizes to her. And yo, yo, and they, yo, be real. When the camera sure. goes off, you're apologizing. Like, yo, I'm he sorry. I'm speaking to you that way. He takes care of her off camera. None of this shit. I'm going to give you a good tip today. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. Dude, that light. internet lag, that's what could set this skit up for sure. Wait, who that? Wait, who that? Oh, yeah, who down the right? Who down the right? Then? Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, oh, no. oh my God, who is that? Oh, that yeah, my, yeah. Yeah, no. Yo, X, cover your eyes, bro. Yeah. Come on, man. <laughs> hey! <laughs> hey! Yeah! You hear that? Yeah! <laughs> so, what are we arguing about? <laughs> Yo, not this, this guy, bro. Look at this guy, bro. This nigga sway cool as shit, bro. This man's a GTA character. <laughs> Look at this nigga, bro. Well, I, I had, I, it's not organized. I had the massage planned, but Aiden messaged me, so obviously she has, to, she has to do it while I work. That's how it goes. Okay. Interesting. I don't know what we're arguing about. I don't know. I, I, I think we're going off the deep end. Yeah, but I, <laughs> I think he said something about the Matrix. And uh, you said that the, um, my mind come depends on, on me acting a certain way, so I preach, I preach the choir type of shit. When I, when I said that I genuinely think that you have your own, your own matrix in that regard, and you do the same for your views and your things. That's how it is. Well, I think that different people appeal to different people. That's fine. That wasn't the point I was making at all. The point I was making at all is that you are not allowed to have a controversial opinion. I am. The, that's the point I was making. The point I was making is that I do not need the internet to be rich or to be significant though i don't give a fuck i've been banned a thousand times i'll be banned a thousand times more and it doesn't even cross my mind my point is respectfully if you were to conclude through your own personal experiences if you were to come to a conclusion which you know the parameters of the matrix c is controversial you still wouldn't even fucking say it because it's all risk and no reward for you that's why I'm saying that for you to sit here and disagree with everything I say, I understand why you're doing it. Okay. I also understand why you will ignore your own eyes and your own ears and your own personal experiences. You'll ignore them completely because it doesn't benefit you to talk the truth. You will sit here and you will repeat the new okay. thing, the new speech. Okay. You will say what you were supposed to say. That is your, we all have different. Oh my God, bro. Oh, oh, yo, this damn. motherfucker. Bro, this bro, motherfucker why did he just go hot? Bro, why is it so fucking bad? The Matrix doesn't want me to... Can you see? You yeah. can see, yeah. Someone's shutting me down. No, he's, we're, he's, Andrew's saying that the Matrix, which I agree, does not want him to talk. I agree, because like, it's shut him down all the time. No. W Translator, W Translator, Aiden. W no. Translator, bro. I'm not dick-sucking, no. Soki. Somebody's no, stopping the fucking connection. You're putting it all in there, bro. Just chill, chill. Up, Aiden. chill. Okay, I'm telling you, agents. Maybe we could talk about another topic, and then maybe it's gonna be less controversial and be less fucking less matrixers somehow. Less. Well, I don't get it. I was told that you disagree with everything I say, so I'm just here to. Yeah, most. I mean, some of the motivational shit or whatever the fuck. It's like reiterated stuff that that you hear on in fucking billionaire self help books or some shit, which which are fine. I think I agree. I agree with a lot of them. I'm not gonna fucking dick ride and say that I agree with the rest of them because that's, that's what people do, you know? You say a lot of true shit and you slip some dog shit in the middle and then people will take it as a truth. Which is fair. Well, I don't, well I don't try and slip dog shit into my views. They're my views are my views and they're based on my personal experiences and I don't try and slip dog shit in. I, I, I don't attempt to do that on purpose. I don't think it's dick riding to agree with everything someone says either. I don't think it's dick riding to agree with people. The internet, like I said, I, I, I'm not. I'm new to all this space. It's weird. It's a weird place. Like if you, if I were to come along and say I 100% agree with all of the things that X man says, people are going to insult me for that. I don't see. I'm not saying I agree with every single thing about his being, but the things he says on the internet, I may agree with all of them. What's wrong with that? Yeah, I, I, I see. I also agree with that. I also agree that this new the thing of meta of saying oh Dick Ryder or whatever because you generally agree with all the takes. It just so happened to it. People say Dick writing. 
That's fucking stupid. I also agree. Okay, but um, other than that, though, I just feel like a lot of times, like I said, I agree with some of your good takes, right, about things that are motivational, whatever the fuck, right? Whenever you, you just slip in some garbage, right, it happens a lot. And hold, on, I, hold on, hold on, hold on, actually, might have. Yo, did you see it? Did you see it? Hey, Tay, look at him. Look at him, bro. He's done, bro. <laughs> look at him, bro. Look. He's done, bro. He's having the time of his fucking life in that He's image, bro. He's having the time of his life. He's having the time of his life. Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah, finally. <laughs> look at this guy, bro. That's my hey, white um, widow right there. I can't, I can't add the lady yeah. if she's a paid actor. You think, if, 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 uh, do you think she's a paid actor? Andrew. Yo, I'm Aiden. A... Aiden, honestly, yo, Andrew, honestly, give me your masseuse's uh, Bitcoin address. I'll send her like 100 grand. She'll never have to do that again. <laughs> do you have Bitcoin? Bitcoin, you know what Bitcoin is? You don't have? I'm going to set you up because this baller here is going to send you 100 grand. I know he wouldn't lie online. I wouldn't lie. See, oh, he shit. thinks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. he, he, he thinks he's all talking no he, name. He, he thinks he's actually capping. Oh, man, you have no <laughs> idea. I hope not. I hope not. Like, I, I would respect <laughs> very much. He thought that I was fucking around trying to man up. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. it. That would change her life, and I would love to see that. That would make me Happily, very happy. baby. I got it. Set her up. Just make sure it's going to her, not you or anyone else. Please. Bro, she's, she's giving you great massages. Why don't you change her life, bro? Come on, man. What, uh, you, do you have any family members <laughs> or, or, kids or children who understand Bitcoin? Your, your children have Bitcoin? Nothing? Uh, bro, if you set her up an account and uh, like cash it out for her and like somehow set up a bank, like I'll send extra just for that. Like if you have an assistant or someone that can do that, I'll oh happily God. take. Can you do that? Yeah, I'll get someone on it now. Send it <laughs> All right, add, yo, add me on Discord. Add me on Discord. We'll get this done for her. I'm down. All right, awesome. Um, right. as for the internet, it's something that's happening on the street because there's people out in the street complaining. So it's the whole street, the internet. Yo, caught. just for the, uh, just for the record, uh, yeah. I can't add you. You don't accept friend requests. Just add me and then I'll accept you cool. and we'll get this done. Cool. I'm going to lose my masseuse, but it's fine. Nah, she won't leave you. If anything, she'll love you more for this. Cause you, you, this, this is the opportunity given, right? You brought her on the platform and I gave her a hundred thousand, a hundred thousand. You're right. But I don't have a clue how to add people as friends, bro. I'm, I'm, I'm an old just, man. Uh, you see that big ass nose right there? That big ass nose picture? Just click that right there. Right click it. Go to profile yeah. and then go to send friend request. The one that says train wreck. Right click on. Bro, I have a question. I have a question here. Right. Bro, how, how, how did you start and how did you pick money? Yeah. Hey, he, yeah, he's fucking fit. Oh, okay. no, he's good, he's good. Yeah, how, how'd you become the richest man on the planet? A trillionaire or some shit? A trillionaire. Yeah, how'd that happen? So I, I first, I was a kickboxer for a long time. I'm, I was fighting for money. Um, there's not that much money in kickboxing. And then my first serious entrepreneurial, I mean, I had, I, I ran lots of businesses, did this, did that. Some things like what? Some, you can't everything, man. I, I had a normal job for a while when I was kickboxing and I did some different things and I did some things I shouldn't have done and blah, blah, blah. And was in, in jail for a little while and got out. And then I, uh, I opened up a webcam company. I had girls sitting on the internet talking to men and I ended up scaling that up to having 75 women. Uh, working for me. That's how I. That's how I first made millions of dollars. Fucking porn website. Fire. Damn. What the fuck? You don't know this story. This is like the, my most known story online. You, you never. never you never. You never told it to me. It's a really long story, and I've told it. I've, I've. I've told it very, very well on some other podcasts. But the short version of it was, I got in some debt to some dangerous men, and I needed money fast. And I was sitting in my uh, room trying to work out a way to make money because at the time I was only fighting, and I didn't have a fight coming up for a while, and I was. I was researching how money works like i was trying to understand how money works where it comes from this is where i learned about the federal reserve and fractional reserve banking and all these things so interesting point he made earlier about you know the matrix and its currency and how it's all a lie i understand all that very well but that really made me mad because now i understand money's bullshit and i still don't have any and i was really upset and um i was sitting there with a piece of paper trying to write down my assets and my liabilities and like you know trying to write down all the geek shit they tell you and for assets, I wrote down that obviously, you know, I'm, I'm strong, but I'm already fighting. I'm brave, but I'm already fighting. I had all these girlfriends, but but I thought, well, I don't, I can't afford to open a strip club. I'm not going to put them out on the track. I'm not that kind of guy. They're my girls. And then I discovered by accident oh. when I was clicking around on these these uh, websites, I saw those things in the corner, you know, talk to live girls now. And I thought, well, my girls could do that. And long story yeah, short. Long story short, I ended up with uh, a, a 75 women and four premises and making $1.3, $1.4 4 million a month. And that's how it all started. That was about 10 years ago. Wow. Holy that's shit. That's the story. Yeah. That's, I mean, there's a very, there's a lot, there's an in depth version of it, but that's the story. 
And and people listen to that and they seem to think that for some reason I'm was exploitative, but it's absolutely the opposite. It's I'm a I'm a feminist, bro. I empower women to make as much money as they want to make, and I help them do it. I'm I'm a I'm I'm here and <laughs> as long on. as it's as long as it's for you. But right? it's, it's for them. Pimp. It was a pimp. It's nah. for them. So, so so look, X X. This is what I, I wanted to actually ask the question because I know it was a question that you had. Hold on, um, Andrew. The uh, one of the one of the takes that you made on my stream about. Um, that you should take a hundred percent of, you know, your girls only fans. I know X, you, you, you felt the type of way about that. Um, Andrew, yeah. you, that, oh, I mean, they, they, I mean, they said that you were joking a hundred percent and you weren't joking. So I, I assumed that you were joking, but I still hold this thing that you weren't. Well, it depends, right? So if, if it's a girl who were to come to me and say, Andrew, I would like you to help me make money on only fans. And they would come to me for my marketing expertise. And of course it would be a fair deviation. I make 20%, 30%, whatever. That's different. But if it's my girlfriend, my long-term term partner, and we're going to be together forever, and she decides to go down that particular career path, I think I should have a much larger stake because she is my girl, and she is now giving away some of the most private and intimate parts of her body to the internet. Those parts of her body belong to me effectively because she's my woman. That's the whole point of being with somebody. So to be to pretend she doesn't do that and make a bunch of money and give me nothing, is I find that disrespectful. I would I would sooner tell her, look, you're not doing OnlyFans, and she would always yeah, So I called it then that you weren't, you weren't actually joking. It was like an actual truth right yeah if, if i had a ser if i had a serious long-term girlfriend and me and her are together and we're going to be together forever and she says i'm desperate to do only fans say you don't need to we're rich and she goes no i okay. really really want to i say okay the money's mine then I would yeah, say. We, we can we can disintegrate we can dismantle these statements into one at a, like small rocks we can approach them one at a time right because there's yeah. a lot of, that I, I, respectfully okay i think there's a lot of parts of that that are garbage right but we, i don't want to say something at the whole rock and we have to do small rock pebble at a time you know Right, so uh, 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 also this motherfucker can laugh over here. You see, you see it next to me, uh, Los Polos. He's laughing, but he said you were trolling, him, so you were joking a hundred percent. But he's only a star right now because he's maybe he's oh, gonna be right. But crazy. he said you were wrong one hundred percent about this, and so it's wrong that you were joking. So I don't know why he's only a star right now. What did I do? I'm it's just very, saying it's a very, <laughs> very particular scenario, right? You have to understand that the scenario in which I would take 100% is a very, very particular one. In general, when I had my my business, and I know you're saying that they only made money for me, they made money for themselves. I turned girls, I, I would actually sit here and say, as the biggest misogynist on this panel, I've turned more girls into multimillionaires than any of you. I've made girls multimillionaires. This is 10 years ago at the beginning of all this shit, before OnlyFans, when webcamming was new. I took girls from Starbucks and made them millions and millions and millions of dollars and paid them fairly, never missed a single paycheck. Okay. I'm as, I'm as feminist as you can get. Now, yeah, I go- well, like, I, like I said, I don't, I don't, okay. There's, there's no disrespect once again. Okay, I just feel like this is like um, the type of argument that, that goes like, I have three friends that are black when making a certain comments or whatever the fuck. So I don't, unfortunately, don't, don't, you, don't you mad at me, don't you mad at me. I don't this, get mad at you. I'm mad at you. Okay, okay, okay. Well, respectfully, I think that is that is genuinely the, the, the same vibe energy comment, right? Oh, I can't be against women because I helped four or five of them. Oh, no, I, I'm, I, I'm, I'm not against women because I made a couple of them millionaire or whatever the fuck, right? Saying, it's not about being against women. I'm saying that my, the whole was a net positive for both me and the females. So you misunderstood my point. You think I'm making a different point, and that's why you've come to that conclusion. The point I'm making is that everybody who worked for me won. The only person who lost was the guy sending his money away online. That's fine. But for everyone who was associated with me, both me, it wasn't exploitative because you made it sound like I only did it for me. No, the women who worked for me also made millions of dollars. Everybody who was associated yeah. with me won. Everyone won. All of them. Yeah, yeah, for business activities or whatever. Yeah, that that's fine. I don't think I, I wasn't talking about that at all. Um, all. All I meant was okay. Let fuck it. Let's just skip this this um, tangent we're on. Just go. Let's just go back to the main argument you said. So you have I have more of a stake. So you think that in a relationship you have a certain you have a certain stake on your uh, partner's income based on what that income comes from. Well, it depend yeah, depending on how they make it, absolutely. I think that in a relationship with a woman, if the man is with that woman, the main reason he knows he's with her is the fact that she is sexually exclusive to him. If you're with a woman and she's fucking everyone, are you even with her? No. How do you know she's even yours? Because she only sleeps with you, right? Well, if all of her intimate parts are now for everybody and they're purchasable, then I think you have a stake in said parts because those parts belong to you. She gives them to you when she decides so to be a woman. So so there's a, there's a, a price that you're, 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 you're taxing your loss of privacy. To, that's a that's a way you could put it. I mean, personally, if my woman were to come to me and say she wanted to do OnlyFans, I just say no because I not. Okay, wouldn't. okay, then. But an example. Okay, yeah. I mean, respectfully, let, let's have an, uh, let, let's try to upscale that that discussion and see. 
What what kind of steak would you need for your girl to suck another guy's dick? I would never tolerate that on any level. So that's too far. But well, there, I mean, there's a price for the pictures and the loss of intimacy. Correct. There's that. It's for me, it's a black and white thing. Well, it is scalable. Once you lose a certain amount, you can lose more of it, right? I I understand what you're saying, but to me, yeah. it's not black. Because pixelated pictures on the internet are very different than sucking an actual dick. So I would never let my girls be prostitutes. None of the girls who ever worked for me ever prostituted. I've never associated with a prostitute. I don't associate with porn stars, none of that kind of shit. But I had very wholesome girls with pictures of their titties on the internet 10 years ago who made themselves millionaires, yes. And now they are happily married okay. with somebody or whatever. Or some of them are still with me. It doesn't matter. But I never, I was never like getting girls to prostitute or hardcore pimping along that line. I don't even, I mean, I use the word pimp because I had a lot of women who worked for me and they were all beautiful and it sounds cool. But truthfully, I, I don't even really see myself in that regard. I think I'm less of a pimp than most corporations. Well, like I, the girls who work, the girls they, who work for me, fifty percent. You don't get fifty percent of the cash register when you work at they, McDonald's. Okay, they can also people can be pimps and companies can be pimps to a certain level, right? Which doesn't has anything to do with you being a certain level of a pimp. I think sure. I don't think if your girl is doing something, an activity of her own, of her own will, uh, I. I don't. I feel like taxing her is that's being a pimp. Like quite literally, you're you are pimping at the wazoo. Yeah, you are pimping. I understand, but and maybe you've never had the kind of relationships I've had with my women. But any woman I'm with uh, decides to, by her own free will, submit to me because she sees me as her intellectual superior. She sees me as her life superior. She looks up to me and she respects me, and she sees uh. me as her. She sees me as. Uh, <laughs> And for that reason, if she were to come along and say, do OnlyFans, and I said, no, she wouldn't do it. But if she insisted on doing it, I would sit here and say, look, I'm unhappy with you doing this, making a bunch of money off of parts, which are supposed to be intimate only for me. If this is going to happen, I need to have some kind of compensation for my unhappiness. Yes. And she would understand and she would pay me. But this is not a scenario I need to be involved in. This is just a hypothetical, right? But all the girls who worked okay. for me, they were not romantically involved. They were girls who decided to make a bunch of money and they came to the best of the business, which was me. So you would be okay with then paying them for their discomfort in some in other areas then? That'd be something that, you, that you're open to? Uh, sure. I mean, it, it, that's that's an interesting way to look at it. I mean, I think that all men do naturally anyway, right? Let's, 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 I understand your point you're making, so let's extrapolate on it. You're saying yeah. that if I, if I do something that they're unhappy with, I should give them money. Well, the yes. point is... I think that all high value men do that naturally anyway. If you take a billionaire on a boat. Naturally, naturally, it's kind of indirect of a term. It's, it naturally is more, more indirect and more like, uh, like intended, right? Since for you, it's, it's, a, it's transactional and intentional. Then in this example, you have to do the same uh, framework for that example. Right. Same framework. It has to be agreed upon. So let's say I'm, I don't want to be too gross right now. You're, you're, you're with a girl and, and you want to do something. Do you okay with the, with the thing of saying, okay, well, uh, I mean, I can't want really to do that. I'll give, I'll give you, a, I'll, I'll give you 10k. I understand Boom. what you're saying. I don't think it works exactly that way, but I think that all men, especially high value men, are already in a transactional relationship to some regard, and that's not a bad thing. That's natural human nature. And the point I'm trying to make is that if you're a truly high status male, truly, if you're a billionaire with a yacht and you have ten girls on that boat, the woman who's in love with you is going to let you fuck nine other women in front of her because she gets to be on a billionaire's yacht. She gets to go to private islands. She gets to not have to work. She gets to run around on jet skis and take Instagram pictures. So, to some degree, are you not paying her for her compliance? To some degree, are you not rewarding her for her being in a situation that? she's not completely happy with that is natural human nature and all high status males okay, do fair, it okay as, as much as I, uh, I would agree with you that would be a, that would be, that would be a part of something right part of some sort of fulfillment right um I, I would like my partner to be fulfilled in all the ways that i'd like to be fulfilled in a relationship if a girl's only with me because she's fulfilled in this in this in this money way but she's lacking on a bunch of other shit what's the point so let's 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 swip let's swap the hypothetical. Let's say you're in love with a woman. And she comes to you and she decides she wants to do OnlyFans. What do you say? Okay, so I've had a lot of things about OnlyFans before. A lot. I I personally just just because I think it's gonna it's just gonna kind of annoying. I w I wouldn't go into it knowing she, knowing she's doing it. So right? you would. So if your girl came to you and said, no, your girl's not already on OnlyFans. You're with a girl and she's seen OnlyFans online. She decides she wants to start. She comes to you and says, I want to become an OnlyFans chick. You're going to say, yeah, go for it. Don't give me a penny. Go for it. Get rich. Show your titties. So that's going to be your answer? Uh, no, I just say, I, say the, 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 I just, this is kind of annoying. It's an annoying thing. I, I don't, I don't fully agree with it. Right. So it'd be kind of cold. It's, it's cold. I don't like it. 
Well, this is this is the point. So I think it's it's you're you're and I understand this is really interesting what Train said earlier about uh, internet language because when you make a point, you have to be very very careful with what you say. It's almost like politicians speak. But you're saying it's annoying. I wouldn't like it. That well, I'd say you're not allowed. That's what I'd say. I'd say you're not allowed to be on OnlyFans if you're my girl. Okay. And if you okay. are. You're okay. Not nah, yeah yeah. The, the point I'm trying to make is that is that. I don't like it, and if it escalates to a point, yeah, yeah, I get, I guess I would break up. But it's not, that's not like the, the um, I don't think that's the main point though. What is that? What, uh, what does that prove? I think it's just, it just, it's just, kind of, it's just lame. It's point. generally lame. Hey. All right. So the point I'm making here is that it's a situation that most men don't want to find themselves in. They're completely in love with the chick, and she decides to do OnlyFans. We're in a hypothetical situation. You, saying I'd break up with the chick is a boring answer. So assuming you have to stay with the chick, that's the parameters of the question to make the question interesting to answer. My answer is that I need to be paid for her to be doing OnlyFans. That's the answer in the hypothetical situation. Your answer in the hypothetical situation is it's kind okay. of annoying. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. There are, there are parameters to this. There's a bunch of parameters around that. It, 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 would, it, would, it would be like, uh, I hope she's not doing it because of lack of fulfillment in certain ways in our relationship because that's a fucking problem. I, don't, I, don't, I, I, would, I wouldn't want my partner to, to go to places because she's craving a part of something she isn't getting in our relationship. As long as the thing takes away from a relationship, right, and the framework remains the same, then I guess it's kind of chilling. But that's kind of how it comes to OnlyFans because people do, people do it for a lot of reasons and a lot of, a lot of other ones. So it's, it's kind of... Let it me... Can be let like, do you mind me asking you a question? How old are you? 26. Okay. Let me blow your mind, young man. Women love, women love men they respect. And let me tell you this. And this is natural. This is evolutionary. It's biological. This is why women have certain, they have certain, even, even basic things like height, right? They're, they're designed to be attracted to it evolutionarily because they respect larger men because they're more likely to be better at fighting. They're better warriors. Women fall in love with men they respect. Not even men they like that much. It's men they respect. Men they like are their friends. Men they respect are the ones they fuck. And let me tell you something. If a girl were to come to me and say, I am intent on doing OnlyFans, and I would say, I'm uncomfortable with you doing that. I don't want you doing it. She says, Andrew, I love you, but I'm going to do OnlyFans no matter what. I would have to put together parameters and a framework in which she still respects me as a man or we're over. It's not even about the money. It's about the fact that you are my woman. I love you. You love me. And you're going to show me enough respect as a man that if you're going to get naked on the internet, you're going to at least reward me in some way. There's not going to be all these men paying you money and you making a bunch of money on the fucking side sitting in my house without me getting shit because that is disrespectful. And I would not allow her to disrespect me, not just because of my ego, but because of her own innate ability to not be attracted to somebody that she doesn't respect. If, okay. you were to, if you were to come along and play things your way, if a chick were to come to you and say, I want to do OnlyFans, you would say, well, I don't like it. It's kind of annoying, duh, 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 and she started doing it. She would fucking leave. The girl is more likely to stay with me taking all her money than she is stay with you keeping all her money. And that may not make sense to you, but one day you will understand. Okay, okay. I'm going to fire back at you and just say that, yeah. that whatever my relationship is lacking, whatever amount of respect that I'm losing, and whatever amount of privacy that I'm losing, you can't put a price on that. You can't revert that with money. You just can't do it. Can't do it. I want to feel fulfilled. And what fulfills me is that my advantage is fulfilled and we're both on that like equal mindset, right? And you can't, you can't exchange that with money in a transactional way. You just can't, fuck, doesn't matter the amounts, doesn't matter. It what? does make me fulfilled. So if, if, if the partner can make, can make up for it, whatever, whatever they're doing that they're lacking and they're kind of like reverting it somehow, towards me, I guess we can find some sort of compromise, right? But it wouldn't be about money or be transactional money-wise. It just wouldn't. Brother, life is transactional, my friend. And to sit here and pretend that because things are transactional means there's no emotions evolved isn't true. Life is transactional. If I'm completely head over heels in love with a woman and I love her with all my heart and I'm ready to take a bullet for her, it's still a transactional relationship. She still provides things and I still provide things that satisfy both of us. You do not sit here and stream for free. Life is transactional. So to sit here and pretend that things shouldn't be transactional is asinine. That's not the way the world okay. works. Every single You're thing in the world is transactional. Even if I give money to charity, even if Train gives this... A lady who's massaging me a hundred thousand he's doing that one for clout two because he gets to feel good about himself he isn't it's not pure charity he gets to win too actually win. wait a second wait a second oh, wait a second wait a fucking... second wait, wait 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 no i gotta say something it's not for clout if you look me up i'm actually hated and everything's justified that i do but it is for the feel good i get a high from it the same high i get from gambling i get from giving my dick gets hard so that's transactional but it's not for clout i don't give a fuck about it. just trust me do a little research it is not the clout part but it is the high part from feeling good continue bro it's the same with me I, there's a there, there's romania has an orphanage problem a lot of orphans every single christmas i go down to the orphanage with the rolls royce give 100 grand whatever 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 am i the fucking nicest man in the world well yeah but also i feel good i feel good for doing it right yeah. so like 
transactional. Just so to sit here and say things shouldn't be transactional is asinine. That's not a right paradigm. You must okay. view the world in a transactional sense. The world is yeah, transactional. I mean, yeah, but you're you're being a little bit obtuse, though. You you are I mean, deliberately obtuse about about what the nature of how we use transactional as a term. You're you're just saying, oh, it's all transaction. Yeah, of course. Then. Everything in life, if it goes one way, it comes back to another way. That's transactional. So everything, everything is. But but that's not how we use the word transactional. Transactional is more of a not an, in, an indirect. It's more of a direct thing. I'm doing this for that, right? That's cool. how that's how we normally use transactional. The way you the way you're saying is just oh, it's just an exchange of of, of 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 brain chemicals. I'm doing this and I get I get this brain reward, right? Let As an exchange. That's kind of that that that's that that is obtuse. Fine. Let me change the way I ask you the question, right? Because what what I'm actually, and once again, you're only 26. You are smart. I can see you're smart, but you're 26. So if if I were if I were in your position and I had disagreed with everything that Andrew Tate had said, and Andrew Tate was going to come on a stream, first I'd have a list of everything he said I disagreed with. You don't even have a list, so you haven't been very professional about your approach to this. You don't even know most of the things I've said. You're just saying this about. It's all very general. So in future, no, no, no. Please... Say, say that again. Sorry about that. I, I was fucking distracted by um bullshit. Fine. And fine. In future. In future, make a list of all my points you disagree with, so we can we can be more systematic in our approach. Oh, but agreed. In- the problem is that you're a gish galloper. You're a professional at it. You're really good at doing it. Gish galloping, you do dang 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 dang, and then uh, it's it's kind of hard to catch up because once we talk about something, it's already too late. Cool. Well, let me tell you what you're doing, just so you so you so you're aware. If I walk into NASA and I say that going to space is too expensive and too dangerous, and they say, "Well, yeah, I agree with you," and I say, "Okay, this is bullshit," and they go, "Well, what's the alternative?" And I cannot present an alternative. That does not make me a fucking physicist. That does not make me an astronaut. That makes me a jackass. So if you cannot propose a better alternative, then you have no point to make. And this is the point I'm making with you. The parameters of the question are you're in love with a woman who decides to do OnlyFans. You can't break up with her. And I have also added another parameter. You want to retain the respect and the authority in the relationship. You think that taking money in said situation is completely unreasonable and unfair. Fine. What is an alternative which is superior? And if you cannot name one, then it is the best of a bad choice. It may be an un- unfortunate situation, but it's the best move in a bad chess position, and you must still make the best move. If you have a better move to make, I'm open to hear it. But if I'm in love with a woman, and I'm not going to break up with her, and she comes with me, and she insists on doing OnlyFans, my answer to retain my control and my respect in my relationship is for mm-hmm. her to pay me. That is my answer. If you have a better one, my ears are open. Okay, like, okay. like, I, like I said, like I said... Whenever somebody does, there's only fans. It's because of, because there's the what what does that come from? Like it can be a lot of things of why they would do it. Only money or some sort of fulfillment or whatever, right? Some sort of fulfillment, right? If they're doing it because they're, they're lacking something in the relationship, they're taking something away from the relationship. Yeah, that, that's a fucking problem. I guess break up, break up. If I'm that uncomfortable, I'm not gonna put a price on that. I'm not gonna be fulfilled in something and spend my entire life with somebody and be committed. There's no, there's no price you're gonna pay me to be deluded that we're at the same level of commitment. Break up. End of story. No alternative. One alternative. Break up. If you're that uncomfortable, I will not put a dollar amount on that. I will fucking break up and move on. And the fact that you can put a price on your lack of commitment or whatever you think you're like, because of they making OnlyFans is fucking alarming. But X, what he what he saying was a hypothetical. He said in a real normal world, it's like, no, you just we can't. No only fans, we break up. It is what it is. What he's saying, there's no breakup in this scenario. No breakup. What is the alternative of uh, the transaction? No, I said, I said break up. And X, I, I and said and break up. And X, X, you okay, fucking break up. X, this, X, this X, hypothetical also, though. Also, X, he's saying it's it's not about the money. It's the, it's the principle behind. His the hypothetical money. is no like in a situation where you guys aren't breaking up and it's just you need some. What what are you gonna do instead? I, I, have, I have hundreds of millions. I said of- broke up. Break okay, up. cool. Okay, well, okay. The, point is, okay. the point is I have hundreds of millions of dollars, and if my girlfriend did OnlyFans and made $2, she would pay me my dollar, and that's because it's principal. It's not about the money. Okay, yeah, still fair enough, but you can't, in my opinion, that the, the, the nature of that behavior of putting a dollar amount because of some lack of whatever the fuck is stupid. It's, it's an alarming, logical conclusion. It's just bad. But what else about me do you find alarming? No, I'm just saying it's alarming. That's it. Okay. What else about my views or things you've heard me say or my attitudes or my life approach? Oh, my girl can't go out. That's fucking alarming as shit. My girl can't go out? Yeah. Okay. Let's let's discuss this. I, discuss I, it. <laughs> all right, cool. So I take I take my girlfriends out all the time, right? Cool. But if my girl were to say I want to go out with seven other girls to the club, 
in my personal experience, I'd be unhappy for her to do that because I've been the man in the club that those seven girls turn up to and end up on his table. And I know what happens. I've lived a very, very <laughs> long life. I know how that ends now. Okay. Now I, I think that, and I've discussed this already before. I think I discussed this yesterday with Dave Portnoy, which he got upset about. <laughs> I just, dis I discussed that if I'm going to be in a relationship and I'm going to have responsibility over a woman, which I want to have because it's my masculine imperative, I should also have a degree of authority that comes with that responsibility. If I'm responsible for her safety, for example, but she refuses to obey me when I say don't walk home in the middle of the night, then how can I truly be responsible? Responsibility and authority are linked. I'm responsible for her because I'm her man and I take the best care of her. I might take, I might know things she doesn't know. She might be 19 years old and think going to the club's all fine. I'm 35. I've been around. I've seen what happens to clubs. No, you don't need to go there. I'm responsible for you. I take care of you. And by extension, I have authority to say to you, you're not going to that nightclub. That doesn't make me crazy. It doesn't make me insecure. It doesn't make me weak. She can always say I'm going to go anyway, and that's fine. And then we can break up. But in my scenario, any woman I'm serious about is going to obey me. And I'm not going to come along with some crazy, maybe people will call it crazy. I'm not gonna make her do anything wrong. She ain't going to take drugs. She's going to go to the gym. She's going to eat right. She's going to be learning shit and she ain't going to be in the club sniffing and drinking. Now if that makes me a bad person. Then so be it. No problem. But I get plenty of girls who, who sign up to that all day long without problems. And any man who sits there and goes, I'm not insecure. I'll send my girl to the club. Send okay. her to my, send her to my table. G send her to my table. No okay. problem. Send her. Fair enough. Send her okay. We'll talk about insecurity when she's sucking dick. Okay. Then, then according to your mindset and how you see things then, and your, your high levels of security, apparently, right? If your girl was to go to the club, right? And I was at the club, you're scared that I will bring your girl home. I don't that, live in fear. It's not about scared because I don't live in fear. I'm well, I mean, that, that's fear. No, it's not fear. What okay. is it? Okay, what is the outcome that you do not want of a, her going to the club? I'll explain. I'm a terrorist. Guys, co guys, coming, guys coming over and bringing her home. You, by fear, you are scared of her going home with another guy. That is a move that is literally fueled by fear. You are fearful. That's an interesting viewpoint. And I know you think that that's relevant. And I know you think you've made a good point, but I'm about to dissect it and show you. Go all. ahead. I'm a territorial individual. And I think that being a man, one of the best things about being a man is being territorial, being able to say that is mine. That's the whole point of it. So let's, let's use an analogy. And please, when I make this analogy, I don't want you to try and get caught up in the analogy because I'm about to compare a woman to a car. Do not say you're comparing women to cars. That's low IQ. This is just an analogy. If I go outside, right, or let's say I have a Lamborghini, I have many cars, but let's say I take my Lamborghini, would I park it in a high crime area? Even if the locks are fantastic, even if my woman is loyal and completely and utterly in love with me, and I know there's 0% chance any man could ever take her home because she's with the top G, which is the case. Even if I know the locks on my car, it has bulletproof glass, it's locked, you can't break into it. Will I park my Lambo in an area where people are going to try and steal it? No, I won't because that is irresponsible. So the fact is, I don't care if men try and come up to my chick because no one can steal my chick because I am me. The fact is, it's irresponsible for me to put her in a scenario where people were attempted. If I walk out to the car park and someone's trying to break into my car, even if the locks to my car are secure, I will still decimate said individual for attempting to steal my property. That's what it's about. It's about territorialism. It's not about being fearful the girl's going to run off with someone else. There's nowhere to go from me but down. It's not about okay. that. Fair it's enough. about the fact that it's irresponsible for me to put her in that scenario. Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean the argument. The argument would be good uh, if if I were you. I'm making that argument. I could I could rationalize the argument you just did. If most of the girls that I dated or that I was with had the IQ of somebody who cannot move, think, or do anything, and is just stuck on the side of the fucking curb. So yeah, I guess maybe you go, you would have this experience if most of you did were zero IQ, brain frozen. Yeah, but it doesn't make sense in the real world because the, you don't park your fucking girl on the curb at the club. They move, they talk, they do shit. So it's not a fucking. It's it's not it's not the danger of other guys doing doing shit, right? Because they can I'm still think. And the 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 the, the loss of poten the potential that that one guy out of a million will do some crazy shit and and is going to forcibly bring her home right is far that smallest is far outweighed by the fun and enjoyment and fulfillment that they get by going to the club in the first place. That's interesting, but you also have to understand because we are different individuals living very different lives, and I'm not going to sit here and comment on your relationships because I don't understand them because I don't know them. But you have yeah. to understand. That I am in, I am at a status of life where any woman who gets with me understands that to be with a man of my caliber, there are certain sacrifices which must be made. You do not get to be with a kickboxing world champion, 
multimillionaire whose entire life is completely on track and live a life of spoiled princess and then also say to that man, I go to the club whenever the fuck I want. You might be able to say that to some other men, but you can't say it to me. So, and I want to say something to you that you may not yet understand once again, because you are intelligent, but you're not yet wise because you are young. Women are malleable. And when I say they're malleable, people think that women are these individualistic, unique creatures. And they're, they are to a degree, but they are heavily mal, they're heavily molded by the man they're with. You'll notice if a woman gets with a man and she loves him, she likes the same music he likes. The same Anybody, Anybody's in that regard. Everybody's malleable in that regard with the people that they're with, people that are around. People right. are, the, are the fucking result of what the, what's around them. That's just... Right. Correct. So we're valuable. So a woman which may say to you, I'm a unique special snowflake. I do whatever the fuck I want. If she was in my presence, she wouldn't say that. Now, because women are a reflection of their man. It's not hard to get a woman who sits there and says, you know what? I don't go to the club without my man because I adore my man. If the man is worthy of such adoration. If the woman's sitting there going, well, I'm with him, but it, no, he doesn't tell me what to do. That's the man's problem. It's nothing to do with the woman. Females are all the same. It's all about the man they're with. I have no trouble and no arguments in my life telling women they don't go to the club by themselves. Zero. It's not a conversation that even ever appears ever because I am me. So uh, for you to sit here and describe scenarios, that's fine. And you're saying that my women are low IQ. I would counter that by saying if I was with the same women you were with, they'd behave better for me than they would for you. And that is because of my status and my wisdom and my individuality that you have yet you treat and pay for them like they're Lambos that are parked at the curb. Of course, they're going to be like this if you are going to want to go down that argument. So yeah, I, 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 I guess once more, I have to concede the point because you're right. I guess you, you dated you dated frozen Lambos parked at the curb. It's not frozen it, Lambos. Saying to a woman I mean, that, that, is what you that is what you compare. That is your example. You before? compare the behavior and the potentials of, of her being stolen to a parked Lambo. Therefore, right. I have to use that analogy when talking about the girls that you are dating and you are saying, I'm, I, I'm sorry, it's not an insult. It's like you made this precedence. I have to use it. I will take any woman I could date, any of women you've ever, I don't know who your girlfriends are. I don't have a clue. But any woman you've ever dated, if I was with her, she wouldn't be going to the club without me. That's, that's the bottom line. And that's because of who, who I am. The, woman, the woman's paradigm, the idea that the female is going to come along and demand to only go club with the girls, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That is heavily dependent on the man she okay. is with. So what makes you above her then? The money, so, the status, the top G, what is, what is the, the label or the prerequisite that makes you above her? It's not about being above. It's about her. Yes, it is. It's about her respecting me. Therefore, therefore, you can't go to the club either. You don't go to the club then. That's bullshit. I go to the club whatever the fuck I want. Okay. Then when, what, make, what makes her unable to go to the club if you can't go to the club if you're equal? I am responsible for her and I have why, authority. Why, why are you responsible? What, what makes you responsible? I'm responsible for her because I am more competent as an individual. Now, before how, we, how do you know that? All the girls, all the girls. And there's no girl that, out there that, that that could be above you. You're above everybody else. Well, let's let's because I know you're going to try and go down the sexist argument. Let's reverse um, it. Well, I mean, you you made it. Okay, listen. I, I you have driven this conversation since the beginning. I gave you the friend, the another from I gave you the the initial roots argument or point, and you are driving yourself there. Cool. Uh, and well, so you you are you are you are drawing the circle around it. I didn't do shit. All right, I cool. said, what makes you above her? And you're not giving me an answer. It's about, it's not about being above. It's about having responsibility for. So why can't you share responsibility? Okay, because you can't share responsibility because nothing in life is 50-50. There's always, even if it's 49%, 51%. Okay. Then why you? Me, because I'm me. This is the exact point. Now let's reverse it, which I've been trying to do for the last 30 seconds. There are women out there who are with men, and that man needs her to tell him, stop playing video games, stop smoking weed, go to the gym, get your diet in order, why don't you ever work, why ain't you got any money, that, uh, there are millions of relationships out there. In said scenario, she has responsibility because she's his mother and she tells him what to do, and she has authority. She can tell him not to do shit because she's the fucking boss. That is okay. happens. It's not, about, it's not about a sex thing. It's about okay. human dynamics and every okay. relationship. Someone's in charge and I'm in charge of my relationships and I find it irresponsible of me to put her in a scenario where something could happen to her. But you, Whether, carry on. Sorry, sorry, no, sorry to interrupt you. I, I just think what, what a good point was I can uh, interject. Since you're, since you're making that point, right? The problem with these statements is that you say girls. You always say girls or, girl, or, my, or my girls, right? Intending that, that, that it's all of them. What, what about some girl, right? Who, right now, hypothetically, is a, is a multi-trillionaire, right? And is in your kitchen right now and she comes away right now. Eh, the, the door opens behind you. We see a little glimpse of light right behind you right now. And he says, hey, Tate, get the fuck off the computer. Drinking this bullshit with this stupid cigar. Talking to that fucking devil on your computer. Right? That, that, that could happen, right? According no. to you. No, it can't happen. Why not? It can't happen. And I'll tell why you not? why. I'll tell you why. Because okay. you said 
some girl being a multi-trillionaire. There's plenty of women in the world who may have a lot of money. Yeah. But, we live, but you have to understand that when you look at life, you have to look at life in the different paradigms. There's many different lenses you look at life through. And when you look at life from a societal perspective, yes, women are equal to men and they should be, fine. But when you look at women from an animalistic perspective, because we are basically animals, they are not equal to us physically. When it comes to something like personal safety, which a club involves a lot of, they can get spiked, a man can try on with them and lose his temper, they can get attacked, the, whatever can happen. When it comes to physical protection, that is a man's realm. You could be a UFC world champion, female, whatever, whatever. I'm too big and I'm too strong. I, I'll, I'll still beat them. So there's no female alive who's going to come into a room and tell me when it comes to things like personal protection, responsibility for her own personal safety, okay. et cetera, and trump my views. That's not yeah. true. I'm Same. a man. I have certain domains in which I rule. Okay. Then in this line of argument with the things that you just said, I'm, not going, I'm trying to go one by one. So I have to be selective about how I'm doing this. Okay. What you're saying, since you brought up the fact that you can get spiked, is that you, Andrew, if you go at the club alone, because the girl is staying at home, she has to stay home, she's boxed in. You go to the club because you're such a fucking warrior and right. you get spiked heavily in your drink, you drink it, you will Correct. not go unconscious because you're such a fucking lion, aren't you? It's not about that. It's about the fact that if the woman was with me in the club or if the, the woman couldn't protect me, that's not the woman's domain. It's down to me and my team to protect me. The female has absolutely no say when it comes to things like personal safety. She has so, no so she can't have a team around her. She can't. A, a team of chicks? A team of chicks? <laughs> Of anybody. Well, you to send your girl to the club. With a, Did dude. I say chicks? Did I say chicks? Oh, a team of dudes. Cool. You want to send your girl to the club with a bunch of dudes? Cool. Your prerogative. Enjoy. Wait. Hope you have a nice, long relationship. Well, I mean, okay. Well, I mean, my relationship will be long and fulfilling. I can't. I can't say the same to when you when you treat people like this. I mean, treat people mean, like saying that you don't go to the club without me. We'll go together. Oh, I'm the worst man in the world. Oh no, don't take your girl to the VIP table with you. Oh, don't do that, Andrew, you misogynist. Send her out there with all those other dudes. I'll tell you what, bro. 87 professional fights, four-time kickboxing world champion. How about this? I'll protect your chick. Send her to the club with me. Bro, bro, you can be the mo the, the biggest lion out there. You can be the most Chad-like bald guy out there, okay? If you drink get spiked, you're you're dropping. That's not, that's not the point I'm making. The point I'm making is about, it's about the respect that she will have for me for protecting her and, and my responsibility over her and the authority that comes with it. It'll be about the fact that I don't want my woman in the club without me. I think it's disrespectful. And I don't think that any woman who truly loves a man even wants to do that. Women, women test boundaries as they should. And I'm about to yeah. make another comparison. I'm about to make another comparison that Go you ahead. can use. Yeah, yeah. Use my analogies against me. You said well, I, have, I, well, I, have, I have, I have not, I have no other, uh, other material. You said, cool. you said attack. You said, you said approach me by going one to one and going with specifics. What else is there than the things that you're feeding me that I can use? Am I supposed to speak in fucking in hero or some, some some shit? Cool. What am I supposed to do? I have to. Cool. Completely. So I compared women to cars. So that makes me a bad man. I'm about to compare women to children. Oh no, I'm a really bad man. So this is, let's do the same thing, right? So when, a, when, a, when you have a child, let's say you have a six or seven year old kid, they push the boundaries. They try and see what they can get away with until eventually you come and say, no, you're not allowed to do that anymore. If you yes. leave a child completely unchecked, they're going to do a bunch of crazy shit, right? There has to be a point they come up against the wall where the parents say, no, I'm older than you. I'm more responsible than you. I'm wiser than you. I know things you don't know. Do not stick your fingers in the plug socket. That's part of being an adult. It's part of being a parent. It's okay. the same thing as being a man for a woman. If you're, with a, if you're a man with a woman, you're likely older, a lot older. So you're wiser by default. You're probably, if you're a successful man, more successful than her. You've seen a lot of things. You've probably seen more violence than she has, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You're very, very qualified to come along why, and say- Why do you intend that, that you're probably more successful than, than she is? Because you're because you're likely older. I mean, I don't know. There's not many 18-year-old girls who are going to be more successful than a 35-year-old man, maybe. But why, even, but, why, why are you dating somebody a little younger? Okay, 25-year-old. doesn't matter. Men date, men date younger women on average because young women like older men on average. And they like that because they respect older men because they respect the authority. Okay, so I, I don't- I don't think any of the things I'm saying here are, are largely contested. I think everyone agrees that women like. But I mean, and, right? not 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 only are they largely contested, they they are they are mostly contested. I think I think most people disagree with you on this. I mean, uh, most rational beings, except for the people that are completely delusional or off the tracks, unhinged. The, the problem that you think you think is that you're, you're saying that men, it's impossible for them to be pushed into the right directions or help like a children from women. They, the, the girls can't come in and say, stop doing this, Tate, stop doing, stop doing that. They, no, they can't do that to you or any other guys because they're women. Which, what the fuck is that? That's just, that's just, that's just so illogical. Some, some men need women to guide them. That's fine. I'm not one of those men. Also, now some. Earlier it was all, now it's some. We're going down the list now. We're trying to choke.
What's up? It was all. I was I gave a scenario in which many men are mothered by their girlfriends, and I said in said scenario, the woman has authority and responsibility, and she can prevent him from going to the club. And then I also said in every single relationship, somebody has responsibility and authority. Nothing is 50-50. And then I also said for the same reason, I would not allow someone to break into my car, no matter how good the locks are. I will not put my woman in a scenario where people are going to try and take her from me because I find it disrespectful. And she shouldn't want to be there. That's what I said. That's all the things I said. Now, if you have a relationship in which you want your girl to go out to the club as much as she wants, that's your prerogative. I'm not coming here telling you not to do it. I will tell you it's going to end badly for you. You may disagree with me, but it will. If you keep letting your girl to go to the club, it's going to end badly. Not just because she's going to get stolen, but because she's not going to respect you as a man. She's going to say, this man lets me go out and get drunk with other men every fucking night. What kind of dude do I have? That is your definition of what the respect that she owes you is. Not the definition of what the, the relationships overall. Uh, that's how that transaction goes like. I, I, I think this is... I mean, you're, you're being obtuse. The problem with this is that you're being obtuse about it, right? Relationship, you have to be, why, okay, why are you in a relationship in the first place? Why, why are you with a girl, right? Because you want to, because you, you want to be fulfilled. You want to have a relationship and you want to feel like you're, 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 you're in something, right? You're committed. Why, why do you date? Tell, tell us, why do you date? Absolutely. For the same reason everybody dates. For fulfillment. Okay. So a lot of, a, a lot of points, let's say like a polygon, a lot of things make you fulfilled, like a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of this. A, it right. makes a nice polygon, right? Correct. Right? So in my opinion, this is how this is what the foundation of what a relationship is. For me to be fully fulfilled, I want the person I'm with, my partner, to that one of the prerequisite is that they're fulfilled in all these ways. It needs, it needs to match for me to match. It's almost like a uh, if she's fulfilled, I'm fulfilled, and we are together like that, right? Yeah. And what you're saying, what you're saying is that what fulfills a person, they have to sacrifice and lose out on some of these points for you to feel fulfilled. How does it make any sense whatsoever? It, it, that is completely and utterly illogical because they, they have to make compromises and sacrifices that overall will lack fulfillment and will make you, you feel less fulfilled and you will end up with a raw loss overall in this exchange. Uh, I'm gonna let y'all finish this conversation, but I, got, I just wanna say I got a dip, uh, got, a, got a flight to catch. I'm gonna holla at y'all. Peace. 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 I understand your argument. Your argument is that if the woman has to make compromises to be with me, she's not fully, completely fulfilled, which will stop me being completely fulfilled. Yeah. This, okay. uh, I like that you're listening a lot. I like that. Thank you. But you make compromises to be with her. You don't fuck uh, other women. You do that. That, that is not a... Okay, okay, okay. When you talk about the framework of a good, stable, committed relationship, okay, fucking other girls is not a compromise. It's it pre-intended. Going, going to the club with a bunch of dudes is pre-intended. It's all about the parameters you set. If you're going to sit here and say that I don't want her to have to change a single thing about her life the, because of the difference, then you then you shouldn't have to change anything okay. about your life. I'm agreed, agreed, Andrew. That would be the perspective. As if I feel like I'm losing something by her going to the club, as if I don't. Why? Because she doesn't get anything out of going to the club in those ways that takes away from my relationships. Because I'm number one. You can't replace me. They see me. They see me as the perfect fit. They love me. Right? Let, so they, let they me, don't, I don't lose anything by them going to see number twos and threes and fifteen and one hundreds. They have the best at home. I don't lose shit. You intend that when your girls go to the club, you're scared that they're gonna lose something. They, the other people around at the club are better than you. Because you and you, you're not number you're not number one in their heart, you're number three. And they might get number two over there or number one. And you're scared of that. Why are you scared of that? I don't get that. It makes no sense at all. We've already discussed the fear argument. We've already discussed about the fact that no matter how good the locks are, I wouldn't put it in a high crime area. We've already discussed this. I understand you're trying to use the fact that uh, trying to paint me as insecure and fear. No, that's incorrect. I, like I said, I, you, you, you use my argument against me. I want you to dissect my argument. Sorry to cut you off. You're good at letting me cut you off. Okay. I want you to dissect what I said, right? At the beginning or in the, or, uh, in the middle. And I want you to just can't argue it. You, what I'm saying is that in, I don't make a sacrifice in, in that relationship by, oh, I want to fuck other girls. Bro, I want to fuck that one girl. I don't lose out on the other girls. That, I don't want these girls. I want that one. She's my number one. I'm my number one. I don't lose out and make a compromise. That, oh, no, I can't fuck other girls that I like less and love less. Otherwise, I would date these girls or that girl. So I'm not losing on that potential. The same way she doesn't lo lose out on your... Does that make sense? It's logical. Not really. But if you, if, let me blow your mind. Let me, let's change, let's change the, the quick trajectory. Let me blow your mind. If your woman was truly fulfilled by you and she truly loved you, she wouldn't give a fuck about a club. She wouldn't even want to go. That's the truth. I don't have to argue with my women about going to the club. This is okay. not what I have. Then, then she's not allowed to go to the bowling alley then. Or they will come to me, They'll come to me and say, can I go to the club with all my friends? And say, not without me. She'll say, okay, baby. And that's it.
It, it's really not an argument. It's not hard because she's fulfilled in other ways. Now, if she didn't respect me and she wasn't fulfilled in other ways, then of course she'd argue. Then that club would become important. But to her, then, then can she? Okay, I understand. Then can she go to laser tag? Sure, she can go laser tag. I don't give a fuck. It's no problem. But okay. it's not about that. It's about the what, scenario. What, what if she sees an absolute lion Chad, way more than at the club, some Good. big, tough, muscular guy that looks better than you and, and, and is more into like, then what? Good. Then fine. I then you this. then you park your Lambo at the I, I, in the hood and your Lambo she, it's getting taken. You, then you see, then, now you say good. So the club what? the club is parked there. Pa Incorrect. Laser tag parking is good. How? Incorrect. Because laser tag does not have laser tag is not invented for people to fuck. The only reason clubs even exist, the only reason clubs even exist, and I'll tell you why. The basic mechanics of clubs. I know a little bit about it because I own a couple. The basic mechanics of clubs is that you fill them with girls. Girls have no money. Men come, spend ridiculous amounts of money on alcohol, which is massively overpriced to try and attract females. If yes. you get a, if you get a club with no females in it, no men even go. The whole point of a nightclub yeah. is you fuck. So I will not send my woman who is with me to the fucking ground. She okay. Can go to, okay. She can go Walmart, but she ain't going to go to a place which is specifically designed and set up for her to get intoxicated and famoosed. And not because I think she will get famoosed, because uh -huh. she is too respectful for me, too respectful of me to go to a scenario in which she would be seen. Even, listen, bro, you may disagree with me. I'll tell you something. Well, I, 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 I'm, I, like I said, your arguments fall on its face because, I mean, my, my, my woman, my woman, my, mine, I, I, she obeys me, right? Uh, she has friends and feels fulfilled at doing social activities and her friends all want to go to the club It's it's, it's some girl's birth and yes, she, she's single that one is vulnerable. It's a vulnerable prey Okay, that girl. Okay, but, but but they're all going to the club together, right? My girl can't tag along. No, she can't she cannot partake She cannot partake in social activities that make her feel fulfilled socially She can't she can't because that club is designed for people to fuck right? So, so, so she can't go in there or close to it, right? Dude so many more places are designed to fuck and more people get fuck out of them. So what is, how does that make sense? It's your prerogative what you want to do inside of your own relationship. I'm going to explain. It's not a prerogative. I want you to explain that. Sure. I will explain again. No problem. If firstly you gave, now you just gave a very particular scenario. So right no, now you're. That's now important you, because if you say all, then, then it has to be all the specifics. Hey, my girl all means. When I say my girl doesn't go clubbing, I mean she doesn't go clubbing, right? I mean she does not go out all the weekend. She ain't party anytime she wants. She doesn't go clubbing. Let's imagine there's a particular birthday for a girl, and this girl is a girl I know, and I think she's a pretty good influence, and she's not a bad girl, and they all want to go to the club, and I drop her off and I pick her up. Then that's that's maybe that that is a scenario in which it possibly could happen. Once then, a what, year. What, then why do you say all? Oh, then if you agree but, on a scenario, then why do you say all? Oh, see, this is something that you always do that when you're you're vocal about your your mindset that irritates me a little bit, right? Not 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 personally, but just overall hearing that is that when you say alls, right, and you're very very hard about that when you're alone on camera, right, and you don't you don't get interviewed or kind of argued. It's not it's, it's a monologue, not a dialogue. You say because, all, all. I'm not such a lion, all. But when you come no, here and, I, I, and we talk about it, you say, but this scenario, but that one, but this yeah, one, but that are, one. How does that make sense, bro? Because there are scenarios. Obviously, there are scenarios. Exceptions don't disprove rules. When I say my woman doesn't go clubbing, I mean she does not on the weekends be out clubbing. She does not message me, I'm at the club tonight, see you tomorrow. She does not do that. You're giving me a very particular set of scenarios. Maybe once if her friend had a birthday, da, da, da. maybe, yeah, perhaps. What we're talking about is different things. And I'm telling you why you're trying to disprove me using exceptions in very, very unique scenarios. I'm sitting here saying people are born with two eyes. And you're saying, no, some people are born with one eye. Yeah, that's true. But in general... When you say someone, how many eyes does someone have? You say two. Now, if someone asked me how many eyes does someone have, and I say two, and you were to run along and go, I know someone with one eye. That does not make me fucking wrong. So uh, you're just trying to use exceptions to disprove rules, and it doesn't work that way. Okay. Any, any woman who's with me, by and law, by in general, if you were to ask her, does she go clubbing? The answer would be no. I'm Andrew's girl. I don't go to clubs without Andrew. Now, are there very particular scenarios in which perhaps if a movie premiere and she's A-list and she has to go to a club for 15 minutes with security and I pick her up? Da, da. Yeah, sure. That's not the point we're fucking making. Any woman who's with me doesn't go to the club. And the most important point of all of this is she doesn't want to. I don't have to stop okay. her. Okay. Won't go. I, I'm not, I'm not, this is an understatement, but understatement, literally, you could literally win bike races backwards with how fucking hard you're backpedaling. It's insane the way that you revert your main arguments and go down them and start disintegrating them the way you do. It's, it, I've never seen that before, man. I, I don't know how you can even justify this. You, see, you, you say never go clubbing and then there's exceptions. There are exceptions that actually happen most, did, 
Dude, most of the time, if not every time that that we went out clubbing, it was for a reason. It had, it had a reason behind it. it. Had something behind it, right? That wasn't. I'm gonna go out to see some to see some other options and start fucking, right? There's so yeah. many ways and 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 uh, reasons why well, people go to the club. It's okay, a cool. social gathering. There's a lot of people. Sure, it's, well, it's fun. It's energetic. And it's story. Sure. Well, if I had to make a binary decision. If I were to come along and say that no exceptions are, 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 all are allowed, either she's allowed to go to the club whenever she wants hey, and go to all those birthdays to, uh, or never go to the club and miss all those birthdays and she Josh. would never go to the club and she would never go to a single fucking birthday and she would shout not complain. My woman do not want to go to the club without me. Appreciate this is that. being discussed as if I have to stop I them. To it's thank just, you, thank these are the parameters you. for being with me. You don't go to the club without me. Got it. Cool. Cool. Guys, Done. what do I do? It's not a big deal. All right, yo, X and uh, Tate, listen, can we get to this next topic? The, 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 the... Oh, having a girl, having a guy best friend. Um, I mean that that's that that's, that that one's. I mean, if you if you disagree with, with with the girl having visual or or aura contact with other male beings that are in the vicinity, clearly she cannot have a best friend. I mean, a friend, an acquaintance, bitch, mother, a sight of fucking real life men pixel is a fucking breach to Tate's fucking insecurity. So I don't know. I, I don't think. I'm not insecure territorial. That is insecurity it, by definition. Not allowing the girl to be around the sight of other men is insecurity because you're scared. I think, somebody meant, I, think meant, I, think he, I think he meant in a club scenery, but I'm just gonna ask Andrew: it, Can a girl? Can your girlfriend have a, a, a guy best friend? No, no, I don't agree either. To be honest. So you you don't think that your your so do we agree on this that your woman should not have a male best friend? Well, a best friend means for me a best friend is somebody you spend most of your time with. If I'm with somebody. I'm spending most of my time with them, right? Otherwise, there's a lack somewhere that they're making up by doing other shit. Having friends is cool, right? They're going to spend most of their time with somebody else because they're lacking some sort of social contact. That, that's a problem in itself. That is lack of fulfillment on one end, which translates to lack of fulfillment on both ends. That's a problem. Yeah, I don't think a woman should... I don't think... I think that... Well, first of you have to understand the paradigm. Do you think men and women can even be friends? Um... That that is like super case by case. I think that's super hard. That's like really, really case by case. It depends. It depends. Um, see, it always depends of, of the nature of that of that relationship in, in, uh, in the first place. I think I think they they can be friend if things are clear from the get go. And you just kind of know, right? But you have to be very very rational about it, though. Do you think that in ninety nine percent of scenarios, when man's friends with a chick, he'd like to sleep with her if he could? Okay. So, yeah. See. See. Uh, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be the all or most against uh it's gonna be like the all against most take or all against whatever fucking take you know we're gonna go down again like last time whatever 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 let's say let's say uh fucking i can use a close example okay uh this, uh, this girl does projects for for twitch events or fucking stream events uh, his name is cutie okay just an example okay i started a bunch of events uh, we work on projects together i guess right i never fuck her yeah that's right? quaint that's Not, work that, we're talking about friendship well i mean she's still a friend though She's an acquaintance. She's someone you work with, someone you know. I wouldn't call him a friend. So, okay, it's not mutually exclusive. It's, 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 well, like, yeah, it's hard to draw the line. But my point is that I, I don't think that when a woman and a man are purely just friends without, let's say, a financial motive or any kind of work motive, when they're purely just friends, I don't think that's a platonic relationship. I think the man is interested in her most of the time. And when people disagree with me that, I say, then why do all the hot girls have so many friends and all the ugly girls don't have any? The men are trying to get laid. And for her to sit there and entertain it and pretend that that's not the case. Oh, no, he's just my friend. She knows what's going on. It's bullshit. X, I have a question. Sorry, sorry. Well, because you, asked, asked, you can reverse that. X, what? X, somebody had asked uh, X, if, uh, would, would you be okay if uh, your girlfriend was best friends with Andrew Tate? Well, I, I don't want any of my friends being friends with Andrew Tate. Andrew Tate is a fucking moron. No, I'm just kidding. No, no. We can, uh, you know, best you're, friend. A you're a famous Twitcher, bro. We could we could do a really we could get a lot of pay per views on a boxing match anytime. Bro, 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 bro. Have you seen, have you seen these sticks I got? Uh, these are literally fucking. These are sticks. I can't can't fight with that. <laughs> bro, I did I did one tap. I don't I don't I'm still not scared of saying that. It's like it, it, I, I don't know. It's like something it's not, it's not comparable. It's like if I said it, best biggest fucking UFC fighter, Colossus, fucking seven foot Andy. I mean, he's gonna clap you too. It's all a matter of scale. Of course. Well, this uh, this is my point. The point is that I don't think that most male female friendships are truly and utterly completely platonic i think if any woman's honest she'll admit that too and for the same reason i discussed earlier while i wouldn't let someone attempt to break into my lambo i would not let some man come along under the shield under the guise of friend i'm not gonna let some dude come along put on a friend hat and try on with my chick permanently 
That's bullshit. And she shouldn't want that either. She should say, this guy obviously wants more. I'm not talking to him. Or I'll talk to him only at work for X event. That's it. And, 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 and I know these views for some reason. I don't know why these views are extreme. Because these are not. These are not. The rest of them are kind of extreme. They are. They are legitimate. That one is not too extreme because, um, yeah, a lot of people have these intentions that are that are preemptive, and when they see somebody that's like attractive or whatever, yeah, they'll be friends and trying to try to snake their way in or whatever. But would I your, would. Just, would your mother hang around with some dude behind your father's back and say he's her friend? Would your mother say that again? Would your mother hang around with some dude behind your father's back and say he's just my friend? Would your Would your father tolerate that? Uh, they're not together, they're divorced. Okay. But I'm talking about a different generation, right? Let's imagine people who married 40, 50 years ago. Would they, would, was it normal? Was it normal then for dudes, for chicks to be hanging around with a bunch of dudes and saying, he's just my friend only 34 years ago, or is this all new thing? A friend, it depends on what kind of activities you do. I mean, dude, it, 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 you can have friends doing a bunch, a bunch of shit. Like they can go fucking, maybe they like playing golf together. Maybe they like. It's new think, my friend. And what you must understand is that the things I'm talking about are, were perfectly normal and completely and utterly accepted. Oh, you're one of well, these guys. Okay, it's okay. Not these guys. It's about accepting that society has changed and that new think is untested. And when you look at untested think, because that's what it is, it's untested by the definition of being new in and of itself, it's untested. It's an untested paradigm. We had relationships for a very, very long time, thousands of years, where when a woman was with a man, she only spoke to that man. And most of the world today, still that is the case. You may live in America, but if you go to Africa or any of the Middle East or Asia or even Europe, Eastern Europe, Russia, any of these places, if you think these chicks are, have male friends, then you don't understand the world very well. America. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reverse and say, in the age of a Mesopotamia or some shit, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, girls had, had, had friends and shit and then stuff with other guys. Yeah, th things change. It doesn't devalidate them as untested. A lot of things were untested previously. Like, uh, how does that prove anything? What, like, because what is that? New equals bad thing? Like, well, I don't know what that is. New, new doesn't equal bad. New equals untested, which means you don't know. Nobody knows how this new societal paradigm is going to play out. I can only talk from my personal experience. And my personal experience is that when a woman has a bunch of male friends and a boyfriend, the relationship doesn't last very long. That's my personal experience. I, I've seen it happen a thousand times. Yeah, and I mean, if, that, if, if you date some girls unfulfilled of you so much that she's willing to give other guys a chance and keep an open mind about who they're going to date and who they're with, that they're going to do that with, with people that they meet randomly. But if, she's, but if she's fulfilled, she wouldn't have male friends. You're pretending that a girl can be fulfilled. That's not true. That's not true. What, yes, what, it is. what if she Bro, already had a friend before before you, like oh, years, understood. years ago? Understood. I, I've been with women and they've had a friend for a very long time. But I make it very clear to him, look, he clearly likes you. And if she's honest, she's like, yeah, I know. I keep my arms length. And she's very honest and open with me about it. Oh, he just texts me trying to get me to go out. I'm not going to reply to him. And she'll, she'll distance herself on purpose. And she'll make it very, very clear that she's in love with me. And she'll keep him where he belongs. Very, 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 very firmly in the friend zone with no hope. Because that's oh. her job to do. I don't have to tell her to do that. Now, right. if I have to come along to a chick and say, you're giving this guy too much. Help. Stop texting him. Blah, blah, blah. If I have to do that, then she doesn't respect me. And I'm not going to be in that relationship. I'm not going to sit there and police her phone. She'll yeah. self hey. herself. She'll self police out of respect for me. If she's not doing, if she's not self policing, then she clearly doesn't respect me very much. And I need to understand the chessboard. I need to look at the board and say, okay, I'm not very well respected in this relationship. She thinks talking to these dudes is more important than keeping me happy. It's only a matter of time until we break up. Okay. We, okay. Okay. I, I, I I agree with this, but the, the problem is that you're lumping in, you're lumping two things that are, that are very, very, very different. Okay. Relationship needs and social needs that what they're not, they're, they're separate uh, experiences. You, you saying and fearing the, the social overall aspect of, of, of your girlfriend, saying that, she, that she's mixing that with, with, with the, with your personal relationship love, right? Is a problem itself. That is, that is a problem that, that you cannot, that you can't see. There's a guy's social needs. There's a to talk to other beings, hear new ideas, have different intellectual conversations with other beings than you. Bro, you, 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 you can't entertain all of her fucking uh, intellectual, whatever the fuck. Bro, they, they have to go out there and, 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 and talk and have fun conversations that aren't having sex and having a love with somebody else. Like what? I'd appreciate if you'd stop using the word fear because I'm not fearful. So you can stop using that word. Firstly, secondly, well, I can't, it's, it's hard because when you don't want something to do something, it, it's, it's out of fear. It, that, that's how it is. You think? Yeah. By default it is, but you are fearful of something happening. Yes.
It's not about being fearful. It's just about having my boundaries as an individual and, and having boundaries of what boundaries that what will happen? Boundaries of what? What is the thing that you're shielding? You said boundary from what? Boundary yes. and shield from what? From something. Let, Bro, let you don't wear you don't wear a fucking bulletproof vest being scared of the fucking wind. You wear bulletproof vest against guns and bullets, bitch. Sorry. Let me, I, let, I, I, no think, I take the bitch back. I cannot pull no, that. No problem. I, I don't mind. It's fine. I'll, I'll answer your first original question about them being social. Women often, if they're with a man and they love that man, their social circle ends up involving or being built around that man. His friends become their friends. The girlfriends of the other gr other guys that he's friends with becomes their friends. I'm not saying they're not going to have any friends and nobody outside of me. But anybody who is completely and utterly unrelated to me is to a degree an enemy combatant. You, you need to understand, my friend, that life as a man is ultra competitive and it is war. We are all competing with each other. If Everybody's at war. Okay. The, Everybody the whole war. thing is war. Girls at war, guys, everybody is at fucking war. Yes, life is a battlefield, and sometimes you gotta make choices and shit like that, and that's how you climb, motherfucker. You have to okay. you have to take some down. It is what it is. It's a war, yeah. All right, but I would I would argue that women to a degree, call me misogynist, are a spoil of war. If you're a man and you've been to war and you've been through enough shit, you get women along with money, along with status, along with respect. Women are a spoil of war. They always have been. Look at the ancient times. They turn up, take the city, take the women. It's women are a spoil of war. So all men are competing with each other for all the things men want. All of you Twitchers are competing with each other for views. I'm competing with people to make as much money as possible. If you're going to go try and get a chick, you're not the only person trying to get her. You are competing with people who are trying to get her too. And my point is this. If I win said war and a female becomes mine, I'm not going to let an enemy combatant put on a friend hat and use that as a shield and a bullshit excuse to sit there and attempt to silently chip away at my relationship. Every single time she's unhappy with me or we have an argument and he's in her fucking phone saying, well, you could do better than him. Da -da. Anyone who thinks that that makes you secure to allow your chick to just be poisoned. Okay. It's about security that's so, just responsibility she is yours she loves you she adores you her social circle should include you and revolve around you anyone who comes along and has nothing to do with me but still wants something to do with my chick is unacceptable okay okay this is i understand so it's a spoil of war because you did something right like i want to fire back at you and say that where you you're in a relationship it has to be because you are something, not because you did something and you got me because you are something. That's how you mm -hmm. reach fulfillment. Of you're with somebody who's with you because of you and you're then because of they are, they are them. What happens when you are, since you're using the battle the war thing, right? You're fucking, you're, you're Achilles, the great fighter with a sword, right? And you smoke this big ass giant and you get the sport, you get, you get, you get, in your words, you get the bitch. Now she comes to your tent and she gets to ride on the fucking stick. Yeah, 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 yeah. The spoils of war, right? Yeah, bro, yeah. Right, right, right. And then you have you build this relationship on the fact that you're such a successful fighter. Then the next day, something comes along, you go in the stairs and you fucking break your leg. Then it's all over, right? It's all over. You go back to your tent, it's crickets. She's fucking gone. Because you can't fucking jump and sword that guy anymore. You can't do the leap that Achilles did because you can't fight anymore. Therefore, it's gone, right? So what's the point? That, so you're saying that, that, that that's how it works. Because she's not with you for you. She's with you because of some achievement, some, some tangible event that you did, some, some height that you got. And she, you shouldn't be worthy or you shouldn't be fulfilled of anything else but that one event. Well, I have two answers for that. Firstly, you said she shouldn't be with you for something. She should be with you because you are something. Well, how do you become something? You well, become that's, something. That's what you, you become, wait. become something by doing things. So you're trying to separate the two as if they're separate. They're not se separate, separate. They're, they're not. You is a lot of things. Your, your achievements is a small thing. Being not, not, successful not, isn't... Not in the realm of a man. In the realm of a man, oh. your achievements are 85% of all of who you are. As a man, you are judged solely on your status. You don't even have to be good looking. You need to be important. And you're only going to be important by achieving important things. As a man, you are only an you're only judged on your importance and your status. And also another point I want to make, you made it sound like if I lose that next battle, she's going to run away. Well, no, not completely, but I'll counter that by not saying completely. No, no, but I'll, I will because, answer. I mean, now she's a taxi you because you're a failure. She's the taxi you on whatever you do, because now you're not as good as you were before. So she's losing that part of success that you had. She's not, now she should tax you. Too yeah. You, she should you, say, Andrew, give me 10 bucks a day, bro. So you have to, you, you have to go like a wagey to the market and sell peaches, right? Because you don't fulfill her now anymore. She lost something, bro. Get taxed, pussy. Do you think that women don't leave their man 
or initiate divorce when that man loses his job or can no longer financially provide? You think arguments don't happen? Bitch ass, unstable ones do from people who can't sell their women properly. When you do not, when she does not respect you, she will leave you. And respect is a multifaceted, it's a large and complex issue. But if you cannot provide as a man, if you are not competent, she will lose respect for you and eventually she will leave. For you to sit here to say that you can lose endless battles and your girl will stay with you anyway is dream world fallacy. I'm fallacy. not even talking- a fallacy. fucking warrior. I go through the, the downs and the ups. And I would assume the person that, that, that is with me knows I can lose a thousand battles. At the end, I will win the war some fucking hell. They know that because I built character and I built who I am as a person. And that per that person who's with, with me knows this and doesn't need some some event or some win at least one battle out of ten so for me to stay secure. They don't need that because they know who I am. They don't need little, little, little battles. They know the war is won because she's with the fucking winner. That's, okay, what's it, that's okay. how it works. All right. Well, if she's going to see you as a winner, even though you've lost a battle, which is fantastic, and that's how a woman should view her man, then she's only going to see you as a winner because she's seen you win a bunch of battles before. Any woman who's only ever seen you lose is not going to stand there and say he's a winner, is she? Um, no. Yeah, that, no. Yeah, I guess well, that's a fair point. Yeah. No, my point is, my point is this. As a man, you are judged by females and by society at large on your competence, and your competence by extension means your ability to win in all scenarios. The more competent you are as a man, the higher status you are as a man. We don't just have to talk about money, right? My woman can come to me and say, there's a man outside with a knife and I will go and deal with said situation. She can come to me and say, I need a million dollars. I can deal with said situation. She can come to me and say, I don't know the answer to this. I can deal with it. She can come to me and say, I need a second passport. I have to disappear. I need a second name. I can deal with it. I am competent in all realms. The more competent I am, the more she respects me. By extension, the more responsibility and authority I have over her, and the less likely she has wanted to go to a club and shake her ass around. If I can't fix all of her problems, I have less authority. That's normal. I don't think, if I was a beautiful woman, I wouldn't be with a man who's not top fucking level. Why would I be? Because I have innate value. So to sit here and say that women don't give a fuck if you win or lose and that all of that is not true because it's too competitive. It's too competitive. There are too many men out here who want the hot chicks. A hot woman can have anyone she wants. She ain't going to choose the dude okay. who fucking is. With, with this definition then, you, you, are, you are admitting that any girl that dates you, right? Any girl that dates you is only with you uh, until she until she sees some guy who's who's more successful and has won more battles than you. Therefore, you shouldn't you shouldn't be with anybody, right? Because of who you are, right? No. Every no. every girl is always looking up at something better. The grass is always greener. There's there's you're just some pawn then, right? No. Because the, no. as soon as you go to the yacht and some guy pulls up randomly that looks has like he has more money or has no. more followers or more whatever, she's gone because that no. guy has more. So, yes, that's, that's what you said. I mean, it's your argument. The guy has won more battles and is more stable. Why shouldn't she go to that guy then? I'm saying that that man will be a threat. Now, obviously, she's going to have an emotional attachment to you because you're going to have an established relationship, private jokes, time spent together. Then you're scared she's going to leave then. I'm not scared. I'm not scared of anything. You are, yeah, that, that is what... I, I yes, something you don't. I have something I that nobody else has. It. Nobody. Not even you, cool. him, the president. I'm cool. myself. That's all well, that, I fucking need. Cool. Well, then I, I, I would put it this way. I would expect any man listening to this stream to see me as a threat because if you don't see me as a threat, then you are literally stupid. If you see your girl talking to me, I expect you to be like, fuck, he ticks too many boxes, he's too competent, and he's too good at certain things. I don't need him near my woman. Now, she ain't going to run away straight away, no. But if I keep talking to her and you and her have a little bit of an argument, she's going to end up doing something that she might, she might even regret it, but she's going to end up doing it. That is the nature of humanity. Now, to sit here and say that I, because I'm me, I'm so secure, I'm not threatened by nobody, da 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 da. That's not true. That's not that's not an intelligent way to approach things. I'm a world champion fighter, right? If I see a man in my garden late at night, he may not be able to fight like me. I still don't want him near my house. Who the fuck are you, right? That's still a threat. It's still somebody who wants what I have. So it's not even it's not even as black and white as you're trying to make it. The point, another point you're trying to make, I think I don't I think but, you're trying but, to. But, Okay, sure. but he's not even competing. It, you, you already won. It's, it's, it's nothing, there's no oh, competition. Yeah. You no, are yourself. You've shown that. What so fuck? why do they need anything else? The competition. They, Go on. Well, well I, I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Dude, it's not. It's not. It's not competition. Mean, I mean, why? Here. Why would you? There's no competition. You have what nobody else has. How is that? How is that? How is anybody competing with that? Well, we're all different, right? 
There's, there, I, I have things that nobody else has in some realms, but you guys have things I don't have, right? If there's a chick who's, a, who's in love with Twitch, you're all more important than me. That's fine. But it's not about that. It's, it's, it's not even about that. The point I'm trying to make Throw is... something out. Let me say something. I think you were trying to say TikTok. earlier that a girl's only with me because I have certain things. What can I because ask I him that X, could be a Y, Z, et cetera. Well, well, I, that's, that's not her fault. It's your fault because that's how you set it up to be. I agree. I you agree. are creating your own demons by, that, by, that, by the division. It's not a demon. I agree that women are only with me Shallow females are only with me because I'm big, tall, strong, rich, interesting, compendious, because I have char 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 charisma, because I can fix their problems, because I have a good, a well-connected network, because I'm important and respected and high status. I agree women are only with me for all those things. That does not mean that their love is not true. You think that a woman who's only with a guy because he's big, tall, strong, handsome, and rich doesn't love that man? <laughs> You're only with her for her titties and you love her? So what the fuck are you talking about? You're trying to pretend they're separate. They're the same fucking thing. <laughs> bro, bro, listen. You're talking to the big titty guy. I fucking love titties, okay? There's nothing... I, I, I don't give a fuck if people say I'm a child of that. I fucking love titties. And I don't even agree with that, okay? I love titties more than anybody else. And and just you're titties, it's just not, not good enough. It's just not... That was I was I was making I was making a point humorously, so I'll make the point now professionally. If you're only with a woman because she is loyal, kind, soft, adoring, and beautiful, and she makes you feel happy, are you shallow? Oh, I said it again. That was that, that was a lot. She's loyal. She's adoring. She's funny. She's gorgeous. She makes you feel happy. She, your friends love her. She lives in your house. She cooks. She cleans. You feel good when you're around her. Are you shallow to be with that woman? No, why would I be shallow? Oh, so if a woman's only with you or me or anyone else because she looks up to you and sees you as strong, rich, competent, interesting, you can protect her. She will, likes to be guided by you. She likes talking to you. Is she shallow to be with you because you're purely high status? Um, no. So no, the, well, the point I'm making is that, okay, okay, like, you're, okay yeah, I agree with you. No, that's just one of the reasons she loves me. Okay, okay, okay. It's, it's all about proportions, okay? Think about, think about it. Like I said earlier, the poly, the motherfucking polygon. Okay, if it's a polygon, it's like a, it's like a, it, it kind of, it fills on, on certain sides because of certain strengths. Okay, what I'm saying is that you can, you can have a little bit of everything, right? A little, a little bit of everything. But if the reason why she's there is mostly the things that are fucking uh, a tangible, right? Like, like money or whatever. If most of it is that it's the money and the status or whatever, that's a fucking problem. Sure, you you, want, you want it to be a nice balance, Agreed. somewhat, of everything, okay. so it feels fulfilling in all ways, and good, and and feels good. It's Agreed. a good thing. All the, so so if, a, if, if it goes with you, because of 3%, uh, whatever, 3% intellect, 5%, whatever, and then 40% money, and 30% looks, what, what, happens, what happens if um, your investment all fall flat, and you get old? Uh, and, and then, you're, then, then you, that woman out the window. Agreed. You get because Agreed. most reason why she likes you, most reason is these tangible dog shit, and then boom, Agreed. it's gone. Agreed. I and never then what? And then what? And then what? What do you do then? Then you're gonna find another bitch. What did, I never said that wasn't the case. Uh, what do you want me to say? I never said that wasn't the case at all. I'm saying that. Women are attracted to tangible things. It's a tangible world. I said this earlier. Now, it, I, I've never been with a woman who only loves me for money. I'm not a sugar daddy. I'm not like that as a person. I have a lot of money, but my women who are with me, they don't get like presents and cars, none of that shit. Like they can live in the house and I'll take them out for dinner, but they, they could get with a man with less money than me and get a lot more money out of said man. So I understand the point you're making. Yeah. If a hooker's with a dude purely for money and he runs and out how, of money. Yeah, cool. And how do, you, how do you know that? I know that because of how my relationship's set up. Because if they're with me for money, they, they choose someone else because they don't get any money. Well, I mean, they're not, they're not, they're not to work, they're not to do shit. They, they live for free. So how do you know they're not with you only because they can live for free and, and a good life and a very fancy life? How do you know that for certain? How do you, how do you build that framework, right? Where, where they, they display they're with you for all these other intangible things from you that isn't only life stability and, and status. Good question. Good question. So what we need to do is we need to get this Twitch stream. We need to get every, every single stay at home mother, every single stay at home wife in the entire country. And we need to ask them how we know they really love their husband. They're not just with them. So they don't need to have a job. Let's do that. Shall we? That's that's that doesn't even make sense. I didn't ask these fucking degenerates or me. I asked you also, 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 is that lady billing you a new fucking back and rearrange your fucking bones? Why is it being misogyny for a full hour straight, bro? What is she doing out there, man? Bro, what the fuck? It's gonna be some sort of fucking osteopathic replacement or some shit. I have a lot of muscle. It's it's painful to carry around. It's a two-hour massage. But um, can she get like can she get like a little break or like some water? 
Of course, she gets water. She works hard. She's here every day. She loves me. She's fine. She's my best friend. She's okay, well looked good. at. Uh, watch, What's watch her name? Out. Watch out. Well, hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, sorry, lady. You better watch this guy's girlfriend. She's about to get jealous because he has a best friend that isn't her. Holy shit. Why? Well, watch <laughs> the fuck out. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Somebody tell her. I want to say one more thing that will really trigger you, but this is true. All the rules I've been saying and all the things I've saying that apply to women don't apply to me. I can go to the club when I want. I can have as many female friends. So I can do whatever I want. So let's oh, just yeah. make that. Oh, yeah. I can do it. I can do as much as I want. Because I'm the boss. You're the boss. So I can do what the fuck I want. Right? Top so, G. Yeah, Top G. My chick can't come to me and say, who's this chick? Like, Some bitch. Why are you talking to her? Because I fucking want to. I'm well, allowed. I mean... I mean, in a way, a when, when, you have, when, you have, when you have these two things, right? These... Grant in that polygon when you have a crazy amount of money, I mean, why the fuck, whatever would you care? I mean, you 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 can uh, do whatever the fuck. You can do crazy, yeah. outlandish yeah. shit and still well, have security. I, it's true, but I don't I don't like people thinking that women are only with me for money because it's actually the absolute opposite. I only first ever made serious money because I had so many women when I was broke. So let's keep that in mind. Firstly, so I had women when I had no money. So and why? I, because you were good looking or other things? What was it? I was a world champion. Because, because you had good hair? What happened when you went bald? You think maybe oh. some woman was only because of, you, because of your hair? But now you're bald. What happened then? I'm not bald. I shaved my head. I could grow all my hair back if I decided. Bro, but we can see the hairline. It's like a whole McDonald's uh, symbol. It's here. But um, it's because I was a world champion fighter, I'd assume. And because I'm interesting and smart, I guess. I'm good looking enough. I'm big. I had lots of reasons. I had lots of things about me that women liked, clearly, because they listened to me and they helped me make up millions and millions of dollars. So it's not, just about, it's not just about money. Yo. How do you? How are you hiding Los Poyos' video? Like, like, how do you do that? You right click. And what, what do you click? He fell yeah, but what do you? Off. Yeah, but, yeah, but what do you click? You right click. You just show my camera or disable video. Really good shit. Thank yeah. you, brother. Oh, I never knew that. Continue, guys. So yeah, this is a very interesting conversation. I would like to, if I had the time, which I know, we could do a really interesting study. We could. Chat, you get a new girlfriend. Get I get a new here. girlfriend. I give mine my set of rules, and you give. Or set of rules and we see who lasts longer <laughs> who, la wait, who lasts like bro life doesn't work like the way we, we can't just fucking full reset and get like brainwashed yeah, like cl same. clean it's you can't the, the, the problem with life how do you okay she, this is one of my problems with life how do you know you have the tools and you have what it what you have what it takes to make it if you can't full reset how it's it's hard it's, it's hard you, you don't here, you don't ever know for sure right i, gotta I wish I, can we do a poll in the chat is it possible to do a poll yeah yeah you can do a poll yeah yeah Okay, just ask and say if your girl goes to the club with men all the or no, sorry, let me I mean, saw that wrong. Hey, Paul, I, girl, I, I, do it again. I, I, you, you have to give me the specifics. Paul, your girl, question: If your girl can go to the club whenever she likes with her girls, are is she more likely, or are you more likely to break up than if she doesn't go club? That's the question. And let's see what people think. Maybe I'm wrong. It's fine. I'm. I have no problems being wrong. Like I don't give your a fuck. Your girl goes clubbing. Without with you, her, with your girls. Girls, without you, very often, are you more likely to break up? Boom. What should hold up, Andrew? You're looking at my shit, so I'll just I got you. So wait, you want me to put yes or no or break up or not break up? Yes or no is fine. I just did break up, not break up. And uh, one, one minute, pull one minute, pull in the chat. I do my X. Mine's ninety five percent break up. Mine's. Or, yeah, but what, yeah, yeah, but you, 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 you stream to a bunch of fucking preteen fucking cool Mirandis up in his bitch. Just like, just like you I am. stream to a bunch of skateboarding fucking. What's oh, the question? I exactly. What's the question? I am Aiden, as biased as you. We are not rooted. Question? We are not rooted in rationality. What These guys the spam W when this guy shows up on screen. Holy they, shit. What is the saying? question? What is the if question? If your girl goes out clubbing with her girls without you, are you more likely to break up with her than not? My, okay. my, my personal answer Thank is you. no, 100% no, okay? Because if she goes to the club, it has nothing to do with my my st my uh, relationship stability and isn't getting something she isn't getting from me by going out there, right? <laughs> and she's fulfilling other needs uh, socially that she enjoys that makes me even less likely to break up. You, I think you are more likely to be broken up with, right? If you allow her to do less things that she enjoys doing. And a story. I want my girl to feel pretty, and if she's bomb and hot and fucking sexy, I want her. I want her. I want her to be able to feel, like, feel that. I want her to be able to do, do, do that. What the fuck she wants? She's not gonna fucking sit at home in her pajamas. Oh fuck. She just like you like to have your fucking top off so we can see your titties and your traps.
okay? She likes sometimes mm. looking nice and having some cleavage so she feels sexy when she looks at her in the mirror. It has nothing to do with what she's getting out of others. It's how she sees herself. Oh, I'm sexy. I want her to feel that way. I want her to say, hold on, I'm so fucking sexy. I think that's fucking hot as shit. Yeah I, yeah, I love it when your girl comes to the club with her tits out. I love it. Oh, yeah, because you can look like a fucking like a uh, window shopper like when you're broke, right? right. Oh, and then only... she comes back home and she sucks my balls and not probably not yours. And nobody right. else is in the world. That's right. <laughs> that's security. Thank you. That's right. You're right. Security. Yeah. No, you're totally right, man. Everyone's window shopping. No one's touching her. Just they, you, they, they are window shopping. They absolutely, absolutely are. Yeah. Ninja, so like ninja. I said, you are scared. People are not window shopping when your girl goes out. Oh uh, yeah. So I only, you're right. All my girls are ugly clearly. And I'm, I'm very fearful. No, that's not what I said. I didn't say ugly or looks. I said, I, I, what I said is, what I said is what you're saying is that you intend that if you were going out, people will not be window shopping. They wouldn't be touching. They, they would well, not know. Look, I, I, I hang around with many beautiful women. They get a lot of attention and we go out with me and, and they get shitloads of attention. Of course, it's normal. But that's, cr- that, that's good. That's a good thing. Absolutely. Of course. That doesn't mean that they're touching though. But they're with me. I wouldn't send them to the club by themselves. And, and you know what's actually, I know this is very unusual to like- So you to have them. to be close when something, when something that you don't like happens. Happens. I know this is maybe unusual to an American audience, right? But I live in Romania. So in Romania- if you go to a club and she's not with a man, she's single. The, the idea that a woman has a boyfriend and goes to the club without her boyfriend is literally, it doesn't exist. So you either, you see women with their men and you see women standing on their own and everyone knows they're the single ones. It's impossible for a girl to have a boyfriend and still go out. That That's just the, the societal norm. Same in Russia, same in most of Eastern Europe, same in all of Asia, same in the Middle East, same in Africa, same in most that, of the world. That, that's cultural shit. You know, comparing the, the, the East, the West, Middle Eastern. Cultures. We're comparing cultures now. We're comparing the culture of the Western United States to other countries. The Western United States is a country with the highest divorce rate, the most suicidal males, girls are sleeping with the most men, the most porn stars, the most fucking OF, the cam, and all this other trash. You're going to try and defend the society, which is the most degenerate on the fucking planet? There's nothing fucking respectable about- Well, well like, I live in here. I, I, I don't have any other choice. I, I, I like living here. I live here. That's about it. End of story. I'm not going to fucking- My ideas are not unusual most places on the planet. They may be unusual to an American audience in a degrading society full of disgusting. Okay, emo- with this th- mindset, you, you the girl of your dreams is actually not even alive right now. She's probably is stuck in the fucking cave ages with the fucking uh, with, with, with the, the mindset that they had back then of the animals and fighting. So by definition, your 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 soulmate or best fit is in the fucking minus two millions or some shit. There is no such thing as a soulmate because as a man, you mold your woman. I take any woman and, and she becomes my soulmate by obeying my rules and if she doesn't obey we break up so that woman the women are malleable my point is i could take an american woman and she would combi- she would abide by my rules because that's who i am it's not about that my point is you're defending why, why would i have to obey and that dude, dude, i feel like the, the way you're saying that obey then in that in that sense the way we use the word obey she could do you can make her do any tricks what's her fucking ever she can make you can make her do anything if she has to obey what the fuck is that well, man it's, it's comply. Like if they don't want to comply with my rules and my 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 views on how a relationship should run, then they should leave. That's normal, right? Um, a woman gets with me. I think it wants to be this way. She doesn't want it to be that way. Then we break up. What's the problem? But if she stays, it's yeah, that my- that was that was both ways though with girl and woman and and men, right? Correct. A woman can come to me and say, "I expect you to do X, Y, Z, Andrew." And if I do those things, we stay together. And if we don't, we break up completely. But my point is that my rules are that I can do whatever I want in certain regards, and she can't. Those are my rules because I have responsibility. Okay, it, it makes sense. So, so, so mm. you are inherently superior, right? Therefore, you command you you command the boat. I'm I, as an analogy, I just always felt like relationship. It's more like a like a plane. You have a co-pilot, right? You have a co-pilot. But you think it's the opposite. You have a ship, and you're the fucking captain, and they are the the whatever mother sucker down on the board, and you do this and you do that, and you obey the captain. I'm the captain of the sucker, right? And you, as Andrew, no girl is above you. Not a single breathing woman on earth is above you and commands you or could command you because you're above somehow. I, I right? could argue that, but to, just for the sake of keeping things simple, I'll, I'll, that's 85% correct. Yeah, correct. 85%. 85% how? Because you're saying like no woman's above you, that you're trying to use it as a misogynistic term, but it's not about that. It's about the fact that in a relationship, someone has to be in charge. And I think the most healthy relationships are relationships with the man in charge. And there are certain domains in which I'm always going to excel. And because of that, let me give you another example. And then we're going to change subject, hopefully. Last example. Sure. You're, you're walking down the street with your chick. I come up to you or, or forget me, 10 UFC guys come up to you. Your chance of winning is 0%. Zero, they, yeah. Okay. But they want, they want to 
physically harm your female. It is your masculine duty and your imperative to at least attempt to protect her. Do you agree? What? Bro, this isn't World of Warcraft. You don't fucking, you don't AOE the mobs down, bro. Like, this isn't some fucking primitive, you're against a lion type shit, bro. It's an unwinnable fight. Nobody would take that fight. By the okay. likeness, I would hope my girl knows we cannot win this fight. We must both run. And we both run. Yeah, okay, yeah. But let's let's say they're about to drag your woman into a bush and have their way with her. Unless you tr at least attempt to protect her. Do you feel like you have a masculine duty, even in the face of unwinnable odds, to at least attempt her protection? Yes or no? Bro, th these... What it, you made fun of me for my scenarios. What is this scenario of some obscure fucking, like, hentai shit, man? What okay, the I'll fuck am I talking... What are we talking about here, man? Fine, I'll change it then. If you want to pretend that that's not a very reasonable question, even though it is, I'll Ten it. dudes are dragging the woman... The woman. Well, uh, I, 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 yeah, in, in a bush, and you have to fight 1v9. Bro, you wouldn't even win that if you were fucking Naruto, man. That's like, fair. I'm not talking about winning. I'm talking about your imperative. I'm not talking about winning. I'm talking about, do you have a duty? Do you have a masculine duty to at least... Where does that duty come from? That okay. Both, both okay. partners have to help each other in, 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 in some ways. You, you, you both partners. Okay, so you need your chick to fight for you. I get it. Next question. Let's say you're alone in your house. You and your wait, chick... Wait, wait, wait. Hey, hold up. Hey, hold up. Hold up. Hey, let's, let's roll it back a little bit. So you, you say, you, you say that, that, that the girl can't fight for you, right? Because it's not her role. Whenever she made her character, she didn't choose fucking defender or melee. She chose fucking female because they can't fucking fight. What the fuck is that? So what, if, 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 you get, if you get jumped by three dudes, right, and you're getting absolutely boned, okay, and she has a gun, right, she cannot shoot because the woman do not fight. The woman cannot fight. She can't fight for you, right? But because you're, so, you're such a lion, bro, right? Not, bro, bro, come on. You're going to want me three of them, right? That's not the point. If my female had a gun, I'd tell him to shoot every fucker. That's not what I'm saying. So let me well, uh, but now she fought for you. That's that, that's that's not male, bro. That's that's not that's not fucking warrior mode. She, uh, you let the fucking female fight for you. Come on, Andrew. Better than that. Come let on. Me change the question because you want to pretend my question is is not very reasonable, even though it is. Because we're talking about masculine duty and authority and responsibilities. We're not. It's a hypothetical. So let me change it. You and your woman are asleep in bed upstairs. You hear someone break into the house downstairs. Who goes downstairs? Nobody. <laughs> hold on, hold on. X2, so you're not going down there? Nobody's going down there. So what if they come bro, upstairs? You gotta, you gotta protect. Bro, bro. I'll keep it hold a buck up. 50 protect, real quick. Hold, protect. Real quick, real quick. I'll keep it a buck 50. No, no, no. no. My job is to survive, not protect. My job is to survive. And sometimes that means to get, to get go down there, the guy's a gun. It what doesn't matter. That's not what the fuck I do. We are, you, bro. we are both going down by no. doing the by doing the smart thing, the analytical thing, the strategic thing. We can both survive. If Come I on. go down, not only am I jeopardizing myself, I am jeopardizing both of us by not being smart and a leader in that regard. We are even more in danger if I go I'm down not, than if I not go down. Hi you're hiding though. You're hiding. So. Like you gotta try to protect your girl. What? Why is that <laughs> no. crazy? Bro, bro, you are losing your. You live in America, right? No, you're you're losing your mind. Okay, my my job so is not to my protect. I'm, I'm I'm meeting My them. job I'm is to survive. Down. Yeah, but my so in the in the in the scenario we're describing, you're upstairs. You hear someone break in. Your girl turns to you and goes, "Someone's in the house. Someone's in the house." One of you has to go downstairs. Why? It? Why, why, why does it go downstairs? Why, 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 why does it go there? Is why, it you or... why, why do you have to go down there? Why? If you don't believe you have any kind of intrinsic masculine duty to at least attempt to protect your female, then that explains why we disagree on every single point. Yes. Because... Not, I'm going to give you further than that. Yeah. I even have a, 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 a even higher duty to not protect her, to not even protect myself. I, I have a duty. To Woman. fucking survive. Almost Surviving in that scenario means if somebody you. breaks into the house, he's... Okay, listen, Andrew. If somebody breaks into the house, he is more likely than not likely to have a certain tool to get in or a weapon. If I do not possess that weapon, right? I am not going down there with bare hands. There you because we will both a, die. You can have a weapon. I'm not saying you don't have a weapon. I'm saying... Oh, another, yeah. another all, and then you break it down. Another fucking argument like that, bro. You need to stop doing that. You go, I, I, must, must, I was must, assuming you had a bat. I was assuming you had a bat down. I don't know. Okay. I think you I will need to mediate stop this. doing that shit yeah. again. Of, start with a blanket argument and then breaking it down. You got to stop doing that.
listen, 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 okay? Let me hop in real quick, okay? <laughs> what both of you are saying is the same thing, just different tactics, okay? The question needs to be asked in a more clear way, okay? What we're talking about here is instinct, instinct. What is, as a man, your instinct? So whether you go down or whether you stay up and hide, instinctually, immediately you get protective over the woman, right? And she may instinctually get protected over you. Now, what you do doesn't matter. The point is you both get instant instinct to survive and to protect, right? That's what we're talking about here, okay? The tactic is irrelevant. What we're talking about here is instinct. Do you understand? The, the Continue. The most likely game, game. You, you look at the, at the playing field, right? You look at what do you have and what is the most likely to happen and you choose the most favorable outcome for both parties to live. Whether that's running, whether that's hiding, whether that's going to the ceiling, it's anything that we will do to stay alive, just like the animals do. If they cannot fight with weapons they don't have or tools they don't have, they run. It's called fight or flight. It's hey. whatever is the best best tool me, or, or to me, survive. You're, you're, you're making very simple questions complicated. Let me change the question. Again, Three, twice. You're upstairs. No, it's not. I'm not. I'm changing the question because your answers are stupid. So I'm doing it's a, it's a bro. Your answers are stupid, bro, because everyone knows that you have a duty to protect your woman and you're pretending you don't. I don't agree. I don't not even a little bit, bro. Well, then may, perhaps you are a coward, but let me give you the last chance. But, it, but I, in a I, way, I, 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 I no, no, Hold on, guys, 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 listen, listen, listen. This, this is crazy to me because it's both going over your, both of your comments are going over each other's heads, okay? Listen, your tactic, listen, both of you have the same instinct as a male, okay? Your tactics are different. Do you understand? You, you, you're both agreeing with each other. You're just arguing whose tactic is better, which is irrelevant to the argument. Both really? of you, both no, of you no. have the instinct to protect your woman, and the woman has the instinct to protect the man. Your tactics are just different. Yours is to go downstairs and to manhandle the dude. XQC's is more tactical in the sense what she wants to. But the guy hide. has a gun. The guy's a gun. I know nope. it's not wrong. It's not bad. What you're saying is fine. Then what? Both the of you agree. Then what? The instinct is to survive and protect. No one said the guy has a gun, and we're not. Both and, of what? you are right. So now the, the guy, the guy doesn't have a gun. Point I'm trying to make. Is that when if if somebody in this hypothetical, <laughs> if somebody has to deal with the threat and engage, if someone did, between you and your female partner, who would be the person who decides to deal with the threat? You or the girl? Uh, I think that's irrelevant. Yeah, it's irrelevant. Wh wh whoever, whoever can have the best outcome of fixing that, with, with, it can be even both at the same time. Maybe a cooperation. I'm irrelevant. Who? What, 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 what if? What if? What if? I have a gun. I go to the back and I make her. And I, okay, I'll, I'll go open the door and I blast them. Now, now we both. Good. So you went. Good. Fine. That answers the question. I'm not. Okay. I'm, not, okay. I'm just okay. trying okay. to. I, trying to make I, I actually, well, actually, reverse. Actually, I'm pretty bad at shooting. Let's say I open the door. Then she shot. Uh, am I still the man? I'm trying to make you guys understand. Well, no, no, no. I'm trying to make you understand. Am I still good now that I open the door and then she shot, or is that not good enough? That's fine, but that's not the scenario I described. The then, scenario I'm describing are the fact that when it push comes to shove and we end up in unfortunate situations, a man has a duty to protect his female. That's intrinsic. That's evolutionary. That's something we were hardwired with. It's something that society has always built into men until recent times. What you're saying now may be fine. If 30 years ago, a dude said, I won't go downstairs and I'll tell my woman and we're just both going to hide here together. He would have been mocked forever. That's like, that's, that's insanity. Somebody has to engage and it's the man's job. Just like the men stay on the Titanic, the men go to fight. That's a man's imperative. And I don't care. It doesn't matter that I can fight. If I'm at number 10 to one and they have machetes and I'm going to lose, fine. No one's going to rape my chick without me trying. That is my masculine imperative and my duty as a man. The point I'm trying to make is, so let me change the scenario. You're upstairs. You have an AR-15. Three unarmed men break in. Between you and the chick, one of you has to take the gun and go down there and deal with all three of them. She's scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. They're downstairs. Go, go shoot them. Go shoot them. Are you going to go? Yeah, why is she scared? And you, you're not... Why only can he, can she be uh, can she be scared? If she if she has tra better better training than I do, if she's better shooter than I, than I am, she's taking a gun, bro. I'm not. I'm. If I, if she, what? You're in my brain. Am I, not, am I talking Chinese? If, I, if she, bro, if she is a better shooter, <laughs> she's taking a gun. Send your girl downstairs. I don't know, bro. If she's a better shooter, you're damn right she's going. That. Of course. 
But how do you know she's a better shooter if you guys have never, like, let's say she never shot a gun before. If you, you, have, if you have an F-15, you need to have the training that comes with it. Yes, you do have training. If you're lying, yeah, yeah, yeah. You probably had the training before, before it. Yes. Hey, well then, so what we've learned from me asking this question is that you, and it's not, this is not an insult. I, I think you'd agree with me saying this. You have no intrinsic desire, no intrinsic duty or intrinsic innate responsibility to protect your female in any regard. Oh my you God, guys, guys, you guys, I'm going to interrupt. Can, can I please interrupt real quick? I'm going to interject, okay? Once again, you both agree, okay? You're arguing to, to just to argue because you're not hearing each other, okay? Listen, XQC, what Tate is saying about instinct for males is correct. Our instinct to protect will kick in 100%. Now, the next following step, okay, is, the, is the, what, the technique. Is, what, no, is, is what does technique, that mean? Right, yes. it's technique. Yes. XQC is being rational about it. So if you were to word it correctly to fit your narrative, Tate, what we would do here is, as a man, XQC would take leadership of the situation and say, okay, I know you are a better shooter than I am. You practice 600 hours a week. I do not. Here is the gun. You are better than me. That takes confidence. Your outlook, Los Poyos, so is insecure. If she has more huh. gun training, if she, if she has more you gun training and you, she's confident, you so, make the leadership decision. That's your instinct. Make leadership decision. It's not the train. How do you know she has more gun training? How do you know she has more gun training? To confront would, armed gunmen. Man, like, what listen, are you talking about? How am I insecure? Because I want to protect That is irrelevant. That is irrelevant. Give me a Ever second. Ever lost. Ever lost. No, you're going to say I'm insecure because oh. I would protect Oh my bro, God. Bro, 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 bro. This bro, is crazy. Bro, what bro, Tate is saying is okay. Imagine what he's saying is okay. What X is saying is okay. They're both right. They're both right. Trend, okay. Trend. Tate is saying. Just imagine. Listen, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's, it's, it's like hanging out with a bunch of <laughs> testosterone filled men with small dicks. See, that's, listen, that's, that's what listen, I'm saying. Listen, Dude. what Tate is saying is correct. Whose instinct kicks in as a, oh, what's the instinct of a man? To protect your girl, yes. protect your kid, protect your family. Yes, Tate is right. That is there. But what the technique to follow is, it's is the man sir. taking leadership to say, okay, I will shoot and I will miss. But my girl, if she is willing, if she is strong, she's going to step up and she has more hours than me and she will hit this guy one shot. Do you understand? If you need me to word it to, to massage your ego, Los Poyos, and say, okay, I took leadership and I demanded this and she's my frontline soldier, you know, I can word it that way for why? your soft ego. Listen, listen, do you know why I would do it like this? Because there's a chance, no matter what, going up against someone with a gun that you could die. I don't rationally. Want her to die. If you I'll go with no bullet. training, you're dead. I, I'll you go with no bullet. training. He has a gun. You're she dead. She can run away. Oh That's my what God. I'm saying, bro. That's bro. not being insecure. That's being the opposite. That's I'm willing to die for my girl. There is, is no that? insecure, bro. That's, That's not the scenario. That's not the what scenario. What do you mean? Scenario. That's not the scenario. If you get shot, what is she will die? Oh my God. What is John Wick? She can just kill anyone. Like, there's no fucking way. Dude, what is this? <laughs> hey, dude, what the fuck? What the hell is this? Oh hey, my hey, god! Hey. I've been listening to you spew crazy bro! shit for mad long. Bro, I'm saying two bro. things. Oh my bro, bro, god! Bros, bros, let, let me, let me, oh let me, let me, No disrespect, okay? You're a big dude, right? You're a big dude. You're a big dude. You're a big dude. You're getting a big dude, right? 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 <laughs> you, 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 you're the bigger hitbox, okay? You're sleeping, Yo. and you, you, what the hell you? is this shit? Settle down. <laughs> Okay, victim. Don't play victim. Don't play victim. I'm not insulting you. I'm not insulting Like you take the shit. Why am I getting so mad? It's crazy. You're in bed. You're in bed. Okay, with a with a skinny police officer. Okay, there's been there's been any duty for twenty years, and she was just shoot a gun. Okay, and then some guy breaks in, and she wakes up with you, and the dude with the big head box says says, "Lady, don't worry, I got this. Because I'm the man, I take the gun." Bro, people are more of a threat to themselves with a firearm than, than, than to others, okay, motherfucker. Fine. Okay, fine. Okay, then, then you go. Police here officer, comes, fine, here, cool. Here comes what? Here, 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 here is the point, guys. Guys, the point is... What the hell is this shit? What the Here is the point. The point is... Holy shit, man. Here's the point. The question Tate asked was, as a man, what, is, what happens when someone breaks in? Yes, as a male, we have the instinct to protect the woman to protect our child, to protect our home. Yes, the instinct is there. He is asking that question and I am answering yes. As a man, that instinct is there. His headphones are off, he won't hear this, but yes. Now, the, what we're arguing here are the tactics which is irrelevant. Thank you.
Jesus Christ. Yes. Okay, then I agree with Tate. I agree with Tate. I agree with Tate. Yeah, yes. Here we go. I don't know, bro. Men are so more protective. Well, there's a lot of... It, 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 it is a want. built instinct. Right? It's, it's, all... an, it's a little bit in our code. I Come agree. On. I guess, oh. historically and scientifically, it's it's on our code to be more to be more defensive. Yes. I That's like... all along. Let what? Me tell you, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why Polo is right. Oh. You do not send your woman to fight. You have a duty oh. as a man. And to sit here and say the tactics are different, I understand your point, but it's incorrect, and I'll tell you why. When the, oh. Titan the, when the Titanic was sinking, no one was sitting there going, who's a better swimmer, you or me? Who, oh, who, who's better in the cold? Well, you know what, chick? You know what? You actually, you got, you were a better swimmer than me, so if I get on the lifeboat because you're a better swimmer, and that, that's bullshit. You're a man, and you fucking die. That's the rules. That's the old-school Dewey of masculinity. To sit here and say, well, my chick might be better with an AR... <laughs> Bullshit. If, if oh, a woman no. wants to the boat oh. and how nobody knows woman? how to drive the boat, the boat will sink. If nobody's no, no, skilled on. enough hold to drive on. the boat, on Jesus it, they Christ. will sink and die. All of you are so You'll easily kill baited. All of them no, stop. By trying to be masculine, they'll Please. die. Congrats. Let, let me say one thing. Let me answer the Tate's question, okay? Let me explain the contextual difference. The Titanic example is completely correct, and you're right, Tate. In the Titanic example, okay, there is no swimming. Whoever goes in the lifeboat survives. Whoever does not dies. As a man, our duty, yes, everyone, because the water is so fucking freezing, you will die. So whoever's in the boat survives. Okay, that's a fact. You can't deny the fact. It's a fact. So, yes, you're, so yes, you're right. A, as a man, we sacrifice as a protective duty, as the rules say for old time honor, we die, the children and the females survive. You're right. But contextually, in the situation with the gun, do you understand? It isn't a situation of life and death. Yes, you're right. If it is a situation nothing where either Nothing is guaranteed, my... Train. Nothing Hold is guaranteed. On. Even Hold if she can no. shoot better, Los, she let me finish, you, you big fucking girl... barbaric, primitive brute. Let me finish, okay? Let me finish. Oh, my God. Go ahead, but you're wrong, but go ahead. You guys are just fucking fine. dumb. I, I refuse fine. to believe that a being Holy smart enough that to own a computer Holy in this shit. call is that fucking stupid. If okay? Oh, bro, 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 can I bro, finish? Wait, 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 bro, bro, bro. Yeah, let's yeah, say, let's say, no, 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 no. I got an example for you. Okay, Go, one, you, you have a gun. The gun is the only way you're gonna survive this. Okay, only way you're gonna survive it. Okay, the magazine is under the bed, and your bed is real, and it's bolted to the fucking, it's bolted to the ground, right? Do you do you say, hey, girl? Get the loader under the bed with your small arm that can go through it and get the mag. Or you say, bro, lady, back up, woman, woman, back up. You're the woman. I got this. And you can't get the loader. It's okay, because at, you, at least you're the fucking I got baller one man. You got, try hard, but it didn't pan out. It's okay. I and then you both die. I, I know. You're I got so one example. Dead. I have one. You guys are on a hike. It's you and your girl. A fucking bear comes out of nowhere. I'm... I'm... I'm gonna I uh, listen, we're not escaping this, so I'm gonna say run. I'm gonna jump after the bear and let the bear fucking do have its way with me, bro. I'm gonna Correct. die to and Correct. she's gonna live. That's Correct. what I'm gonna do. If I that's my oh. girl, bro. I'm I gonna do that. Yeah. Correct. Okay. That, that's it. That's what I mean by this. And right. I don't then, care if she then, can shoot better. Like I'm not then gonna you are her to both, shoot. then you're both you, dead. It, if if the girl knows what to do because she has knowledge about the, about the bear approach, where right. she can sing Wait. or talk in a way that we can survive, I <laughs> shut the fuck up. I point yeah. and I say, "You, you talk, went to you talk," and then she saves us. We don't run from a fucking bear. Wait, what do you think you are? You're a gladiator yeah, let, for the let, fucking let taste speak. The, what it what it from the one thousand gladiator. You're not a gladiator. Hold up, X. Hold up. When the bear appears, you don't sit there and argue with your chick saying, well, you went to veterinary school, so you're better with bears, so maybe you can tickle the bear. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, you do. Fucking man. So what this what you're doing is this all goes full circle. It goes, back the very, it goes back to the very beginning of this conversation when I said when I make points and the, in the internet, they try and find little fucking stupid little ways out and bullshit, et cetera, et cetera. I was make, trying to make a very, very simple meta point that as a man, you have a duty to protect your female. And now people are coming along saying, no, maybe you protect her better by hiding in the bathroom and sending her downstairs with a grenade. That is fucking Fucking stupid. You have a duty as a man to protect your female. It is your duty, it is your masculine imperative. All of humanity insists, shows it's true. All of history shows it's true. And for you to sit here and say, if someone breaks into my house, I have no duty at all to protect my woman. If she's scared and crying, I might send her ass down there because I can't shoot. Shows that you have no intrinsic, you have no intrinsic desire to protect or provide or look after that female, which is why you have no frame in your relationship, which okay. is why she okay. you. you send her ass to the club to get fucked by okay. somebody. 
Okay, Tate. Okay, Tate, Tate, Tate. Tate. Conversation. I've wasted enough of my life. No, 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 no. Balls, let me know. But to sit here and talk to a man who thinks he can send his chick downstairs to fucking engage our men, I know I'm wasting fair. my life. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. The arm man yo. argument was a bad argument. That's all it was. The bear argument, yeah. I agree with. The bear comes out, you fucking go at the bear, and you save the chick. She runs. But in the house argument, it was just a bad argument. No, but dude, XQC disagree with that. You're agreeing, but he he didn't agree with that. Yeah, the bear oh. argument is right, but the that house argument crazy. was wrong. The bear argue the wait the bear. He's saying a bear comes out, right? Your chick has to run. You you tackle the bear and save your girl's life. Yeah, the the guy has to do that, right? But, in, okay, but no, no, in, I don't think you guys have seen bears. Before. I think I think you guys are a bunch of bitches. I don't think you've seen a bear before. What they do? Okay, I'm gonna give you, you can run. I'm gonna give you a joke. You can I'm gonna outrun give you a joke. it by yeah, hundreds of meters. You're still gonna get fucking snapped on. You tackling the bear Ex doesn't say you are no. both dead. No, you Whoever no, knows no, no, no. what to do with the bear. No, you're not. I, not both. Not I, both. You're you. both dead. You are How? both. No, you you be the bait, bro. You be the bait. You take the fucking bullet for your girl. Oh my god, bro, bro. Bears can mangle you in one hit. You're you're you are one tapped. But they're you gonna know the amount of pressure. Preoccupied, you're you're both dead. You if she keeps running, she, if she runs, there's no you are both dead, one hundred percent. Are you sure, like a hundred million percent? Yes, you are both dead. If you both run, yes. Fine, let's say it's a snake. Isn't the bear gonna want to eat you and shit? There's a joke. No, no, there's a joke, right? If it's, a joke. If, it's, if it's a mama bear and she has no, a no, cub no. and you both, oh no, he's rest, right. Yeah, you are both dead. Yeah, he is right about that. I'm be honest. No, no, there's a joke. There's a joke, right? Here's the joke, right? If you and your friend encounter a bear and you're both running, how do you survive, right? You kick you trip your friend on the ground, yeah. You trip your friend, right? And, and you it's fucking survive. It's so a like, joke. Yeah, but metaphorically speaking, that's what we're talking about, right? Yeah. Like, put that put that metaphor into uh, uh, reality, right? Like, whatever the fuck that is, that joke into reality. We're talking about that situation. That situation, you fucking take the fall and you fucking let your girl survive, right? If you love her. If it's just, you know, a side chick, fuck, you let her die, right? But like... <laughs> <laughs> Not wrong, but still, the, the thing is, is that... Um, I feel like it. I feel like X, Ooh, you were snake. right earlier, X, Train. X, 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 let's say it's a rattlesnake then. Okay, okay, okay. The instinct the, for, for, for I, I, I get, I, I guess maybe, cause I won't be wrong about this. So I will I will take you guys' points for, for what the virtue value it has. So, so men, historically, and in our code, we're more likely to be the one to protect. Right? It's our instinct kicks in, right? From that point on, we all agree. Whatever strategy, it is next, whatever method or whether, whatever tool we need to use is the best to both survive is what we're going to use. Whatever it's that, the girl doing a backflip, the, the girl doing whatever the fuck, the guy doing whatever, whatever best strategy to both survive is what we will do. Not whatever the more manly thing is to do because we are already doing that. Whatever the most manly thing, the, we are already on that. It's another step, right? But yeah, I just think it's not even a manly thing. It's like, would you take a bullet for the person you love? Like, that's just the thing. That's just what it is. Like, yeah, but to be fair, the gun example was a bad example because technically speaking, not to be a geek, but I'm going to be a geek, right? If, if you start bringing up statistics, right? Trust me, the gun example is bad. If you would have used something just more primitive and simple, like the bear attack or like you're in a situation where someone has to die right? That would have been a more appropriate example. Someone has to die. Then you say, yeah, you send the man down there no matter how trained the girl is, right? You're trained. Why Los X, 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 Los trained. I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Hey, All right, peace, shit go. All right, I'll talk to y'all later though. All right. Yo. See you, peace out, man. Take care, bro. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. All right, yeah.